Police driven to tears as we start another fine radio show. I guess Pearl Jam last night did Driven to Tears with uh, Sting, right? Special guest last night, Travis? That's right. You missed it. I, I wanted to go to see, see Pearl Jam, but I'm fucking too old to stay up that late and then get up this early. I'm Cheap s- Trick was there, too. They did I surrender. heard. I heard it's everything. Well, what song did Cheap uh, Trick do? Surrender. Surrender with uh, Eddie Vedder? Was yeah. it good? Yeah, it was great. Wayne Newton stepped in. <laughs> Nick DiPaolo in studio. Are you a Pearl Jam fan? I uh, know. I don't, you don't I give a fuck. music up to Jerry Mungo. <laughs> <laughs> Summertime? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Last album was Man Without Hat. <laughs> you know what? We laugh, but the safety dance, if there's not a fucking peppier song, <laughs> that's, like, that's just a... something that doesn't get me pumped in the morning more than the safety dance. <laughs> Honest to God. Let's be honest. It's a great song. Jesus. Yeah. It's like happened? you we put it on ironically, it and then you're like, God damn it, this was a good tune. <laughs> oh, I don't, yeah, I don't put those songs on ironically anymore. They're just one-hit wonders. I love them. <laughs> Big fan. I think I think Sirius is doing a one-hit wonder channel. Oh, that's smart. That's no. not a bad idea. No. Uh, what, Eric? Yeah, they did a limited engagement over the weekend. Oh, it's all already done? No, it's an internet channel. Oh, I, I don't know where to find internet channels yeah. for, for this place. They had it on uh, the regular satellite for the weekend, and I think it's back to being an internet channel. Oh, fuck that. Then it, they, they basically are done with it. It's called Wonderland. Wonderland! Ooh. Yeah, but how's it spelled, Eric? <laughs> it's spelled... O N E. Oh, what? You know what? Not oh, bad. Oh, Wonderland. Oh, I see. I'd uh. like to hate that, but I have to. I have to tip my cap in the direction of clever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Somebody put in a good thirty seconds to come up with it. Yep. Wonderland. Yeah. Travis, how was Pearl Jam last night? It was good. Yeah. Why do you even? Have I this? know. Fuck. I'm so mad. <laughs> Did you do any Sabbath covers? No. No. But uh, a couple of years ago, when I saw him at the Garden, I think in 2008. Uh, Ace Freely came out and they did Black Diamond and it was great. Oh, that's pretty cool. That would have been fantastic. Ooh. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, do you, no, nothing, Nick, on that. Yeah, what do you mean? I live near. I live right. near Ace Freely. His right. house is I, like I was, a, the one that right. burns like a quarter mile from me. Oh, really? You, they you, were questioning you, me for Christ's sake. <laughs> you, you got to see the smoke from his <laughs> yeah. house going up. I go by and I walk to this lake in the wood, and it's right on the way. It's right there. There's a big hole in the ceiling and shit. Ace. Fire department didn't even come. They just thought he was playing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Jerry Cooney came through and got me tickets yesterday too, but I just couldn't. Uh, I just couldn't go. We have a long day today, as you know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you? We're filming a little something, something for uh, Gaffigan's show, so we oh, got to excuse the fucking me. So we got to get. Uh, we got to be all rested and ready for that. Uh, fuck! I wanted to go last night. Pearl Jam's one of the bands I still like there, Nick. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about the monkeys? The monkeys have some good songs. You know, they actually have some good songs. You, know, train of clocks, huh? you joke, but credit where it's due. Those guys. <laughs> what's, the, what's the big one they sing? Fucking dumb monkeys. I'm a believer. Yeah. I'm a. Uh, what's the one? I just I say like? believer, Daydream and I feel believer. believer. Believer, actually, that's the hip way. I, I like daydream believer. Daydream. Yeah. Oh, you said believer. I think you yeah. said believer, and I made it. No, clever. I say believer. Oh, you did not. <laughs> I just hear it all the time. <laughs> I like Pleasant Valley Sunday. There's some good monkey songs. He's dead, Davy John. That's how I know my career is booming. Everywhere I, when I play a theater, Mickey Dolans was there the week before. Uh, uh, that's really? How I know my fucking <laughs> him a Ringo Starr all star. Oh, oh God, the Ringo Starr fucking band. Yuck. Where was this? Ch- I'm so bummed. This church burned. Twenty uh, Fifth Street. Twenty Fifth and what? Twenty Fifth and uh, not over there. Tenth and, and Molester Boulevard. Yeah, Twenty Fifth <laughs> and over there. I don't know. Why? I'm so because I love this building. I would drive by it. It's such an old. It literally looks like something out of fucking out of the 15th century, and it was such a beautiful building in New York, man. Uh, what happened? That's, I don't know. The, 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 pa- the pastor was lighting farts. I told you, it was one of the altar boys. <laughs> Massive blades guts Manhattan Cathedral. Wait, Look what? at that fire, though. What? Film at 11. 25th and what? Well, I don't know. Let's I, find I, out you know right what? here. Lines to go. Oh. oh, good. You know what's creepy, man? It looks like if that was in a satanic movie with a yes. devil. I mean, the way the flames are coming out of every window. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. It almost looks staged. Right. Were they in in New York? How do you handle it so badly before you call the fire department? Yeah. Uh, what were they? Exactly. Oil and materials. Who knows what it's made of? Oh, yeah, I'm sure there's no asbestos in it. Yeah. This is where the video's supposed to play, yeah. but uh, it's not yeah, happening. Why? why? Really the devil is involved. Are, are our computers... Fuck yeah. Did we take care of the computer situation? We have, really? All right. It should have worked. You're not going to find out any info, Jimmy. I'm sorry. I think this Look is, at the... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks wow, like that's... the back of the Batmobile. Holy shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's somebody lighting farts, I'm telling you. That's the devil's asshole you're looking at. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's close to a 100-foot flame. 
Nobody's far in New York. People walking under it. Yeah, flying it's across the work. sky. Uh, now we have to wait through a 30 second commercial. I want to know maybe where get this just so Jimmy knows where this where this church I'm is. I'm hoping it's not this beautiful one that I would always see like on 8th Avenue it, or something. It's such a gorgeous building. It's like, it's like one of those things that you like driving by, you just like looking at. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that way about this building. Yeah. I felt that way about hookers for many years. Then I had to stop and buy, and life changed. Uh, but I, I love this. Uh, did life get better at that point or worse? Well, you know, for <laughs> oh, the hooker, <laughs> a little worse uh, for all involved. All right, here, well, wow, here we go. Man, that's a brutal fire, man. That's just a flame oh, shooting out. Fuck! We'll tweet I've this never out. seen it like that. That's Me not even either. that high. Yeah, where, I know. Where, where was the church? And they don't know what happened. For real? They don't think it was arson for some reason. Like I don't know what you're doing that the entire building can burn I'm so completely you, without the fire department getting there. Some sa satanic shit. Well, I'm telling you. Well, there was four four of uh, Greek Orthodox churches burned around the world yesterday. They said it might have been a coordinated attack. Oh. But on this one, they said it doesn't look like... Uh, it's 161-year-old Serbian Orthodox. Oh. Yeah. The Serbs. Well, that, uh, right after time he hits Serbs, there's usually a backstory to that. Don't yeah, it? West 25th Street. God damn. And why are they celebrating Easter, like, now? What religion celebrates Easter now? Greek. Uh, the Greek oh, Orthodox. The Greeks. The ones who Greek invented it. The Greek Orthodox. <laughs> 25th and what? Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, you might be close to... Between 5th and 6th. No, that's not what I'm thinking. Not the one near Maysville. Between 5th and 6th. Oh, okay. So There's that's... another one I'm thinking of. I think on 20... The one I'm thinking of might be in the 30s all the way west on 10. This one I'm not familiar with. So now you don't give a fuck that this beautiful church... <laughs> Went on fire because it's not the one you used to pass. That pretty. That sums it up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, nailed that one up. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't. Th I just. I don't know this building. I've probably seen it and just didn't register as anything. Um, mm. The one I'm thinking of, I love looking at when I go by. Oh, uh, that is. Uh, is that it? Is that? A, that's a sweet looking church. Is that's, that? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm, that's, I don't uh, stained glass. Well, where that's the too, flames were shooting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Wait. Yeah, I don't know that one. That's fucking. That's uh, all right. Trump will build it up. Yeah. Good old Trump. Turn it into a post office. I gotta, I gotta say, uh, Nick, uh, congratulations on Horace and Pete. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, well done. I, I watched that whole fucking thing. How, man. how scary is Louis writing and directing? And it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it really is. The dialogue in this thing, and the long camera shots, and everyone's acting, and. Lori yeah. Lori Metcalf's uh, oh my god oh, Ten, 12 minute wow. monologue is it a twelve minute monologue Yeah, I timed it. It was like twelve minutes before anybody said a word I, in that scene. And I'm I'm feeling the anxiety just watching because I'm like, if she fucks this up for one lousy word, they got to start over. I who could do a twelve minute monologue in people. one camera shot? There's, there's a few people who can do it. And you don't Bashimi even know. Bashimi too. Huh? Bashimi every time he he had like four pages at a time. Yeah. Every time he opened his mouth, his character. And and just those long one. I mean, they he never changed the camera on some of these. Uh, I know some of these scenes, and you you do feel the anxiety because you're thinking one person fucks up, everyone has to start over, and everyone's gonna be looking at the guy who fucked <laughs> up, saying thanks a lot, buddy. I was watching Alan Alda like the first few days. He had a ton of, you know, five pages at a time, and he had to go, a lot of his scenes, he had to go through the uh, the, the uh, chronology of, of Horace and Pete. Yeah. I mean, real complicated shit. That yeah. it was, you know what I mean? Explaining yeah. the family tree. Oh, sure, I know. And and I'm, this guy's 79 years old. And I go, I go, there's no way he's going to do this. You know, watching like the first day, I go, this, this is too much even for him. You know, yeah. but by <laughs> coming the next day, he's a little better. Next day, you're like, what the fuck? He's, a, he's like a magician. It. So the you know? first day you'd see him, and be, he wouldn't be like, he'd be like still grabbing for it. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, that's kind of encouraging, at least. Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because he had like, uh, literally, I'd look at the script, and he had like five pages of just uh, him talking. It's unbelievable. It, it really is. It's, you it's know. Ver it's very dark, but it's very good. Oh, my God. <laughs> dark and funny. The, you know, just, it just crap. And watching Louis direct people, and I'm watching Alan Alda watching Louis direct people. Really? And he's, he's got this, like, glint. His eye just going, this kid really has got it going. You he knows know? what he's doing. Yeah. This, this he's, yeah. young uh, whippersnapper. He's unafraid of, of, of making somebody unhappy like when it, with his decision. That's why I like, like it's right. you watch. He's not a dick about it at all. But right. when he goes, no, no, I just need you to do this. And if you're like, well, I want to, no, 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 I need you to do this. Mm. And he's very, very firm and not a yeller. Mm -hmm. No, that's the th his people skills. He's, he's really mature. <laughs> I'm watching him. And it, like I remember we were doing one of the scenes, like I said, Opie, if it fucks up, you got to start over. And he's trying to get as much in one shot, right? Yeah. And somebody was doing a scene. All of a sudden, the camera started making a high pitch, you know, right? Like five minutes into the scene. Yeah. And he just, he goes, I'm sorry, but I'm hearing a high, come on, guys. And that's all he said. 
You know, come on, guys. You got to, you got to, I should, someone else should be hearing that. Yeah. I mean, but that's as mad as he got. <laughs> and then you had to start over. Because, you know, I would have whipped my headphones up. What the <laughs> fuck is going yeah. on around here? Yeah, but then you don't, what you didn't see is the cameraman came in the next day with bite marks on his back and shoulder. I bet you Louis punishes them in the, in the green room by biting their back <laughs> and shoulders. <laughs> Take away the craft services that I got. And there were no other mistakes after that. No, right? I mean, yeah. yeah, he's just, uh, his people skills, uh, you know, were just uh, crazy. And, and uh, like I said, watching Alan Alda, watch him direct. I was getting a kick out of that. Uh, and, uh, you made Louis C.K.'s Horace and Pete uh, best scene. What are they calling the best scene from Horace and Pete? There's, According to this YouTuber, obviously. Yeah, but. Some family oh, yeah, the, the argument, the, the political scene. argument. Right. Yeah, that was that was good. Yeah, but uh, that, that's a, that's nice. Good for you, buddy. Yeah, no, I was, uh, it was uh, very proud. And, and then Louis sent me a thing going after... After the series is over, going, I just wanted to tell you, I didn't fuck around with this. He goes, I only, as you can see, I only hired people who had chops, so I knew you could, you know, which was, that was great nice to hear them. from, you know. Yeah, no, everyone killed it. Everyone's performance was just right on. Because you come, like Jimmy said, you're comfortable. <clears throat> if you're comfortable on the set. With him especially, it's hard not to be, because it's like, it's, it's him. Right, yeah. it's Louie, yeah. right. As opposed to, like, when you and I did the thing with De Niro. Yeah, <laughs> I was almost like spooked oh. right in the middle of it. I had, you know, what that one line, yeah. which I didn't even know I had till we got there. But, <laughs> you know, I'm looking at De Niro right in the middle of the scene. And in my head, I go, this is fucking Robert De Niro. But he wasn't 100 percent prepared either. Which no. was kind of fun to watch. <laughs> no, exactly. Doesn't that make it a little easier? Much easier. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, my God, he's not prepared. OK, yeah. I he, got this. He was, he didn't like, the improv stuff, I think we were more comfortable than he was. So I think that kind of helped a little bit. Absolutely. Like knowing that we were doing something that he was like a little you're, sketchy with. I think you're the first person officially uh, to to admit that. When you're acting with someone that is that fucking famous and you're just looking at him going, oh my God, that's Robert De Niro. I, I, well, that, <laughs> that's one, not his character. Yeah. <laughs> this is fucking no, Robert De Niro. Yeah, and you shouldn't be in your own head. That's the last thing you've done. I but, but you I couldn't can't help, help it. yourself, of course. It's like fucking, you know. You yeah. think of all the movies he's done. Yeah, and all of a sudden he's three feet away from me. <laughs> was he cool to you? He, he was great, wasn't he, he was Jimmy? Awesome. Yeah, yeah he was Jimmy. Awesome. He, uh, he told talked the whole to us story. for fifteen minutes after. Yeah, he was really, he was really interesting, and uh, he was just, he was, he was like, he's a good listener. Like, if it was something, the subject he was interested in, which was stand up, he was great. But if he's talking to you for fifteen minutes uh, the whole time, aren't you sitting there going, "Holy fuck, De Niro's talking to me," and you're not really <laughs> listening to what he's saying? I said, "Wrap it around your hands." How many times <laughs> I got to tell you? Not yeah. too many more. <laughs> <laughs> he was like a shy, but he's just like a shy. Really shy guy, That's and it I makes hear. perfect sense that he's he's not comfortable in his own skin. Yeah, which makes perfect sense why he's one of the greatest actors. He's more comfortable being somebody else. Right, he really is because he realizes he's just a bore if he's not uh, doing I mean, a film. I know you see him on talk shows, and you can tell he doesn't want to be there a yeah, lot of times. Right, he's not good at faking it. He's no. just one of those guys, man. He's but he, he was very fun to be around and watching everybody watch him, like you said about watching Louis. Just watching people see him walk by. Even Edie Falco said, when I talked to her outside, she's like, that's, she's like, you know, you have to act like you know what you're doing, but that's De Niro. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, she felt it. Yeah. I know. Going back to Edie Falco and How Horace, and, she? Horace and Pete, I was watching just what she was doing when she wasn't, like, actually uh, doing dialogue. I'm like, fucking, it was, I don't know, it was amazing. Yeah. You completely believed she was that character. And she was just doing these little subtle things yeah. around the bar when she wasn't really uh, officially part of the, the dialogue of the scene. Yeah, there's one scene when she's like, she comes out in the morning into the kitchen area and she's thinking about what went on in the bed and she, she has to make herself laugh. Yeah. And she's cackling like somebody was tickling her feet. Like, yeah. How the fuck is she doing that? Yeah. I, I would be just standing there staring, waiting for my next line. <laughs> she's yeah, that's her, what you can't do. I know, of course. I know. She's keeping herself busy, though, <laughs> around the bar, <laughs> making it look just completely you, natural. You're like, you'd like you be like Pee Wee Herman when he looks into the camera, remember? <laughs> yes. <The> big, yes. <laughs> and he's mouthing the, <laughs> mouthing the next yes. line. Come on. <laughs> I thought she was that the best. so be me. I thought she was the best actor on The Sopranos. Like the entire series, I thought she was the best I, one. I, I told her that. Mm. I told her. I go <laughs> when I met her at Louis' house. I go. Uh, I go. I'm still obsessed with The Sopranos. I, I said I watch them on. She goes. That's fucking sad. <laughs> so did she say that? I think she was mad that I didn't bring up like Nurse Jackie Nurse and Jack, a million yeah. other things she's done. But I was just trying to compliment her. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you, and, uh, like you were in one of the greatest think, shows ever. But you think someone I, like that is gets sick of talking about the, the Sopranos over and over again? 
Even uh, though it's an amazing experience, yeah, an well, amazing show for well, the person. Well, tough shit. It's what made her famous. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, I, I kind of feel that way. You probably get sick of it, like, but you understand what it is to you, but then you, you do something else right. like Nurse Jackie, which right. is critically acclaimed. And it's yeah. her. And it's like it's like your your solo project isn't as yeah. as popular as the, as the Sopranos. So you're like, Ugh. and Nurse Jackie's uh, way more about her than like an, yeah. An it's like when people uh, come up to me and go, "I liked your first CD, born this way." <laughs> yeah, you're like <laughs> twenty one years ago. Yeah, <laughs> so you'd probably hear white noise though when you bring up the Sopranos. She probably just goes to that safe yeah. place in her head, like, yeah. "Oh, this again." But yeah. what I are you gonna do? I, I mean, won't do that again. You should be, uh, you know, lucky enough to have uh, a role like that. She's right? lucky I didn't mention her dating Tom Sizemore. That was next. That was did other... she? Yeah, she did years and years. She and years. did. Uh-huh. I thought Sizemore. I saw a black guy. I... <laughs> but I thought she was. Uh, you know. No, I believe they dated in. Uh... I thought she was. A they little... might have converted her. <laughs> no, she I might have never heard it. that. I, I don't. Know. I can't make up my mind on I... that one, Ope. What do you mean? You were trying but to figure she... it out? Yeah. Wow. Huh. She's very. That's what I heard. I don't know. I had never, I've never met her before. Or but anything. I didn't get that vibe at all being around her. She was, you know, very nice. She won Emmys for Nurse Jackie. Yes, she did. She's great. I I I checked out a few episodes of that show. It was good. It wasn't something I wanted to watch uh, week after week, but she was uh, fantastic. The the you know the ones I did see. What ebbs? Yeah. What ebbs? So we got Nick DiPaolo here today. Mark Norman's coming in, and uh, Damian Lemon a little later. Yeah, I like Damian. He's hosting a show on True TV. How was your move yesterday, Jimmy? Well, where'd you, where'd you go? I, I just you, I moved you, from you moved one apartments. side to the other. It was a whole thing. Same building? No, no, oh, no, another? no. Other part of the city. Oh, where'd you go? Where, uh, where are you now? I'm on the east side. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. <laughs> You're officially out. That's so oh, weird. My apartment's empty. It's, it is a weird feeling when you leave a place you've been in for 10 years. Right. It wasn't as big a deal as I thought, though. Like, leaving it, I was like, you think you're going to feel a certain way? But then I was like, I've had a lot of memories here. A lot of them great and some of them not so great. So it's like, but they're all, the, the, you know, it's not about the, the actual room. So I didn't, I was like, yeah, fuck it. Goodbye. It's time to move on. I, I like the people that, that, that work there. Like, I'm going to miss them a lot. They're really nice people, and I'm going to miss seeing them, but it's like, well, whatever. Did you do, uh, like, a sitcom ending where you walk around the, <laughs> the apartment for the last time? I'm Shut trying to remember it. what show did that. Uh, then, yeah, I'll tell you what. Um, like, Mary Tyler Moore. I, I'm thinking it might be Mary the, Tyler Moore. The office. They were all they leaving yeah. one at a time out of the That's office. That's what it was. Okay, and yeah. then then who turned off the lights, and that was it? Yeah, it was, uh, I forget, the ghost of Ted Knight. I don't know. I don't remember <laughs> who the fuck. Did you do that, Jimmy? I walked did around. Did one last walk around? Yeah, you look around. And each, it's weird to see it empty, but it was kind of dusty. I'm like, I wish I had a broom. My, I tweeted a picture of my broom. <laughs> wish I had a broom. No, my broom. Looks like, I, I think I said my, I looked at my broom on AIDS. It was fucking, uh, it was awful, my broom. So I'm like, I can't sweep up even. Blood properly. and shit all over the handle. Really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is there fecal matter on the long story? Um, but I wanted to make sure I had left anything. Yeah. Uh, it had to be Mary Tally. DNA yeah. of it. Here it is. Did you do this? Here, here it is. She's taking one last look around the newsroom and then turns off the lights and that is it. Was that you yesterday? No, I'll tell you why it wasn't. <laughs> because I wasn't going into syndication money after this. <laughs> I wasn't going to see Ed Asner and Ted Knight, so I didn't look around. I just shut the door. I'm like, well, a lot of these same quote-unquote ladies will have to come to the east side now. <laughs> where, where on the east side? I'll Upper? tell you off. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot your payment. He's tucked away, though. Jimmy's tucked away. Yeah. It's I, not an easy area to get to. Yeah. It's, I it's lived on walk. the Upper East Side. Really? Yeah, for a couple, and I loved it. How upper? A lot of rich old broads over there. Well, I was young, but... Uh, no, how upper? Like, how high up? 90th, between, like, first and second. There's a place, Nick's Diner, right on my corner. Really? And, yeah, and I went in there the first week. I yeah. go in there, and the wait just takes my order for breakfast. She goes, are you a comedian? I go, yeah. She goes, I go, how'd you know that? She goes, you called me a cunt at the Comedy Cellar a couple months oh. ago. <laughs> Is that true? Oh, my God. <laughs> One of how many restaurants that's happened to you in? <laughs> <laughs> All over the country. And you, uh, and you, and you still <laughs> stayed for the... <laughs> <laughs> I said, cancel the eggs. I don't know what you're going to do to those. I was wondering. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever go back in? I did. They, they were great to me. I, I, I had a girl come over one night. My stove broke. I was going to cook yeah. this girl dinner. And I brought over my, I called the diner. I got, guys, can you cook this chicken for me? I brought a chicken. They cooked the roasted chicken for me. Cook it right or we'll call you cunt. <laughs> she, whipped, <laughs> she whipped that whole staff in a shape. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> uh, looks like a good joint. It's called Nick's Pizza now. Oh really? If it's is that the same place? It was a classic. Oh. Does that look sort of yeah. like it? I don't remember the wood like that. No. No. Oh. No. All it right. 
We just, I don't think so. I think we were just, a long time ago. We were just reaching there. But it was uh, yeah, a lot of old money, a lot of old people on the Upper East Side. I, I, I liked it, and there were great Italian restaurants like twenty blocks to myself. And I met a nice girl with red hair named Holly. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Not Hobbit. A, huh? Hobbit. Wait, was she the redhead? Or no? Holly Hobbit. Hobbit? <laughs> Wasn't Holly Hobbit the redhead? What no. the hell's that? Oh, it was a kid's doll or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh no, I'm thinking of Raggedy Ann. <laughs> Wait, Google Holly Hobbit. I don't think Holly Hobbit had. I don't hair. remember. I just Holly think, Hobbit. It's yeah, a, it's is a that? Uh, yeah, okay. That that's that, Holly Hobby. Yeah, there's some oh, red hair. Oh, I call her Holly Hobby. Holly <laughs> Hobby. <laughs> that's her. That's the girl I fucked. Oh, I'm the stupid. lady. The old Holly old gray Hobbit. hair. That's an old broad. Well, she's old now, but she was in her fifties. Oh my her. god, she looks like oh wow. Uh, she right, looks I'm like th- no Gingrich with AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Holly Hobby. Okay, I yeah, and there's some red hair. Yeah, there. All right, yeah. All right, so I was. All right, I'm glad I didn't. You were almost there. How the hell did you come up with that? I never heard of Holly Hobby. Neither did I. Holly Hobbit. I said Holly Hobby wrong. Do you like to grow a big feet? <laughs> did, you, did you like living in the city, Nick? I did. Yeah. I bounced around. Me, me and Louie lived on, uh, like, West 82nd and Central Park West when we first moved to the... That's... Barry Katz, our manager, had this tiny studio. And he gave it to you guys. And, uh, yeah, when he wasn't... Yeah, he let us have it, and there was bunk beds in there. And you, got, you and Louie had... For, like, a year. It was I didn't the know funniest you were... goddamn thing you've ever... I didn't know you guys yeah. uh, were roommates. Yeah. For the, it was just it was a blast, man. And and you lived in a room with bunk beds. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. You slept on the top. I was on the top. That makes and, sense. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> but you know, we worked Catch a Rising Star, which was right there. You know, and uh, all the and, and I mean, I, I mean, the comic strip was a close one, but uh, that's a great spot. But Central Park, yeah. Jerry Sign, Jerry had like Seinfeld was a couple streets up or whatever. Yeah. But uh, those were the days, man, when we first got down here. Do you remember? I never worked catch. The, uh, the on, I did. I went went in there a couple times, and Sweeney was was Sweeney hosting there or this trip? Uh, there. He was hosting there. Both, actually. Yeah, Steve. Yeah. Uh, not Steve. Uh, Mike, Mike Sweeney. Mike Sweeney. Real funny. He went on right for Conan. Really yeah. funny dude. Yeah. Um, but I remember going in there, and uh, Attell was, I think, auditioning for Letterman or something. Um, but then it closed. I think it was when Louis Friend was there. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, and it was funny, because... Lo- <laughs> We would hang out there. That was the club. You go in, Rodney would come in in his right. bathrobe and shit, you know, and do a set. And, and, and Kevin Meany was the huge guy then. Was and, he? Yeah. What was that, like 92? And Yeah, right around there. Yeah. And then, and, and then um, everybody would come in, you know, Dennis Larry and, and I remember Brian Regan and, and just. Jesus. I walk and I'm watching Brian Regan. You know, I, I just like, I don't even. I just moved to New York. Did you want to go home? I'm going, oh, Did you want to go home? I sat going, holy (laughs) shit, are these guys. I had only been doing comedy about two and a half years. I had no business being down there. And I sat at that bar for like six months. And then all of a sudden, Lewis, you know, Farad would always say hi to me and shit. You know, he thought I was cute. Yeah. And (laughs) and, uh, all of a sudden, uh, hey, DePaulo, I'm going to let you host next weekend. Sure enough, I, he calls me, gives me like fucking Friday and Saturday, three shows each night to, to like MC. It's the only one of the few times I emceed, you know? Yeah. And, and uh, I was just thrilled. I wake up that Friday morning with like the flu. No. Oh, my God. I'm shitting. I'm <laughs> sweating. Sweating through my cl- I mean, definitely <laughs> sick. Clammy. And I still showed up. I, I had like a tweed jacket on. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. And like through, I was so sick and feverish. I had a wet ring coming through like my, my jacket in the back. But I was so excited about doing that, and and uh, you got through it. And it's funny, Louis would hang out there too. And Louis was working all the other clubs, but Louis wouldn't put Louis. On. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, you had to go in and sign in a sheet, you know, sign your name in for availabilities or something. It was hanging right with the door check. And I and I went to sign one night, and Louis wrote, "Louis suck my dick." <laughs> <laughs> and then he started getting spots. <laughs> For, Miranda was laughing about it, but Louis said, "Yeah, like a Louis suck my fucking like a big." I go, "Oh Jesus." How do you, how do you how put, fucking funny is Louie? How Louis? do you not put Nick and, and Louie on? Well, back then, you know, it's like, I, you don't I mean, know. I don't think they were that green. <laughs> no, we were pretty green. Yeah. But, I uh-huh. mean, uh, you know, you learned. That was the beauty of coming down here. You get surrounded by... You know, but um, Boston had it seen. Why did you decide to leave that for New York well, scene? Because there's no showbiz in Boston. You, uh, you can you stay there and more. get your own show at Nick's and have a Coke problem. And, uh, and I gotcha. But who were the guys up there when you left? Oh, Steve Sweeney, Don Gavin, Kenny Rogerson. Jesus. You're right. I mean, it was Boston was loaded. Yeah. 
uh, they had those guys though, and they made a ton of money. Like Sweeney and Gavin, they would host their own shows at Nick's mm-hmm. on on the weekends. Sure, but it was an exclusive deal because the owners were, wouldn't want to, you know. And uh, but they would make they were making like four or five grand a weekend, and not leave. That's what I was told, and not leaving Boston in the early nineties. Yeah, late eighties. That's a yeah. lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. And and, and Nick's was a, I mean, a machine. They do four shows a and night. Was it your choice uh, how you wanted to get paid? Oh yeah, at Nick's. Now at Nick's was like a crack stage, a crack house with a stage and lights. You know? <laughs> right. Is he still there or no? Is, is, is there a it, version of it? it? Yeah, there's like a weird version. They do comedy like once a week or something, and it's like a dance club. I, it's those. Pla- it, it's not what it was. Man. Those places. I worked for a bar once, and it was you had your choice whether you wanted to get paid. Or you want to get paid. Yeah. And if you wanted the, the Coke, is what I'm talking about, <laughs> then you went around to the back and went upstairs to see somebody. I don't want to mention the place, because most people will know this place. But I, I was... Trump Plaza, I'll say I was, I was, eight, I was 18, 19 years old. I always I always took the cash. But man, there was a line for the other way. Oh, yeah. Getting paid, and they all just waited and went upstairs to like this attic. I get, was the only one that paid. wasn't doing it. I was the only one that wasn't doing blow. Because, um, you know, I, I just got into comedy. I was taking it serious. And they would come in. Like, <laughs> Lenny Lenny Clark and Sweeney would come in and go, Hey, kid, get the fuck out of here. They'd shut the green room. Oh, really? I'd be standing outside while they're taking care of it. Wouldn't it be funny if you found out they were just swapping jokes <laughs> all these years later? <laughs> that they were doing lines, but they were just bouncing punchlines off each other. <laughs> Exchanging recipes. <laughs> but one time I did do it. One time, John Panette. Talk oh, me into doing John Panette. John Panette, the late great Panette, talked me into doing a fucking blow. And I did a couple lines before I went on. I get up there and I could tell my rhythm was off. You know, I'm up there and uh, I'm not doing that well. And all of a sudden, some guy like in the third row goes, Hey, fucking relax up there. I had my hand in my pocket, I was jiggling my car keys. <laughs> 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 he goes, hey, relax. And it was like all quiet. I heard, I had my hand in my, I, w- I didn't even know I was jiggling my car keys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And that was the only time you ever did it? Before I went on stage. Then here then and after, there. Oh, yeah. I lived next to a Palace nightclub in Saugus. Well, we came up with that shit. It was everywhere. It was delicious. I mean, it was uh, It was nutritious. all right. It was all right. Yeah, no, I came I down. A, I wasn't a huge fan. No, it, you, you feel good for about eight minutes. Ah, was... But that, that fall, down, that, I would come down like a... It's right. terrible. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. it, it magnifies your miserable attitude. Oh, <laughs> God, I don't miss I don't miss that <laughs> but, you whatsoever. Know, on a Saturday night, you get six drinks in you, and you're trying to pick up a, a hairdresser from Somerville. Did you perform uh, drunk ever? Was that ever your thing? Like the first 10 years of my career, I never had a drink before I went on stage. And then I remember I was in Chicago doing the Funny Farm one night. And I'm looking around and I'm like, everybody's having it. This is a weekend. I want to have some fun. Sure. And I had like three drinks and I murdered. I fucking murdered. So the next night, the Saturday night, I get like blasted between the first and second job. And I thought I was funny, and I listened to I was horrible. Oh, you listened back? Oh, like, I was just horrible. <laughs> just sloppy and, and, and blowing punchlines, and you don't even realize it. And yeah. you're like, why didn't that get a fucking laugh? You know? And, and just, I was sloppy. and But I still like to have, even now, I like to have like a drink before I go on. That's the worst, to get loaded the first time and then murder, and it just sets a bad precedent. You're exactly. like, oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought was well, going to happen. I think there's a difference between one and a whole bunch. <clears throat> yeah. One just made Maybe settle the nerves a little bit, but most of you guys just do not uh, perform under the influence. And then some guys do it loaded all the time. Like and, there's guys that go on fucked up all the time and, and and kill it, and they can do it. It frees you up. I've I've still, I mean, I since that that was years and years ago. I've gone on blasted and had some good sets too. It really frees you up, right? You know. But uh, like Jimmy said, you don't want to set this precedent where you, you feel like you need it. That's that's the only way you can perform. Yeah, yeah. that would be a bad spot. You know, for, for some guys, there's definitely guys that could do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we want to name names that right now, but uh, no. But there's, you see these guys that have been on the road forever. It's like you can't blame them. You know. Jesus. I yeah, I don't know how you guys do that road thing. So what do you do after the show? You have a few, you know what I mean? So these, if you're on the road by yourself in, in Oklahoma for a week and you yeah. don't know anybody, you get... I, uh, I rarely get out there uh, these days. And we were down in Austin, did a couple of live radio shows. I had a blast. But then I'm thinking, I don't, I don't know how you guys do this weekend after weekend. I just said... It's unbelievable. Yeah, I just have my busiest month. I, I usually... Jimmy knows. I, I, I don't do a ton of road work. I, I grab, you know, thank God for things like Louise things come up. And right, right. This and that. Keep but, you going. 
But this past month, I was in I went I was in Tampa, then I went to Minneapolis, then Grand Rapids, and then D.C. this past weekend, and I was like, oh. I you can know? see where that gets really lonely. It, that's it, what I was thinking. That, remember, Patrice hated it. Remember how much Patrice hated the road? And that's what he said to me. I'm fucking lonely, man. <laughs> you I, hated it more than Patrice? Anyone that had to go on the road with him. <laughs> I did a road trip with Patrice oh, one time. We, we co-headlined like me and you did down. Oh, he was miserable. <laughs> really? Because me and my girlfriend at the time were holding hands in the front seat and he's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking so unhappy. <laughs> Stuck him in the back seat while we held hands. <laughs> I think it, I think if you're young and still partying, it's it's a great life. That's right. But then you get a little older, it's like fuck. That's right. Man, what am I going to bring chlamydia home? My wife <laughs> <laughs> again? You never bring me nothing from the road. What are you talking about? Look at all those bars of soaps. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. It was a blast uh, for you know, a while. Yeah, you had late twenties, uh, twenty to thirties, running around and and. But, um, yeah, then uh, now it's like, Jesus Christ. Sure. I like being home. I like going out a couple weeks and being home a couple weeks. You're out a lot this year, though, Jimmy. I've been touring this year, Like every weekend, yeah. Yeah, we're we're every other one. I'm I'm home. uh, I go to, I go, we're actually going away this weekend, and I'm home for a couple weeks, and, you know, in and out, in and out. But but he's doing one and dones now. Well, which is how One and dones are nice. It's so nice, man. I'm I'm working to, I've had a few this year, more than I usually. How nice is that? It's the way it's supposed to be. (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) Especially when you get a little older, too. Of course. I was just. Let's get this done with. Exactly. (laughs) I was, uh, I did Dr. Grins in Grand Rapids. You know, it's five shows. Really? Oh, club, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and that was uh, the Arlington Draft House, which is a nice old cinema, and, mm. and which I love. I yeah. just did that one this past week, and that was one Friday, two Saturday, which wasn't bad. No, that's right. fine for a weekend. It's Three perfect, shows. and good, you know, good money. So, and and it was full, and and uh, but yeah. like, I, you know, I was bragging how I did. You know, I've had some good gigs where I was this year. I'm selling pretty good, but then I, you know, then I go into like Grand Rapids, which is a market I'd never touched, and you're like, oh. I set different expectations for markets I've never been in. That's what you got to do. You just set different expectations. I'd rather uh, yell at my agent. Yeah. (laughs) Are you putting me here? Where, with those people? Where do you want to (laughs) go? No, exactly right. But that same shit happens in the city when you guys are doing spots. I remember, I mean, I would follow Jimmy around a little bit because I had nothing to do for a couple of years there. (laughs) And uh, I remember, you know... Jimmy killed at one place, and we went up to, I think it was his danger field. Same exact fucking oh, set. That he murdered. Yeah. He murdered a mere 15 minutes ago, and then we're in his car racing up to danger fields. He does yeah. the exact set word for word because he's working on something. Yeah. And it wasn't dead, but it was it was it was a whole different experience. Well, that place yeah. is how is that possible in the same fucking city? Well, that pl- I'll tell you how a danger feels. People go in there and they order a diet coke, and it's eleven ninety five, and yeah. they're fucking it, pissed right a, off the bat. Oh, it's a tourist <laughs> trap. Yeah. Can I get the fried clams? Fuck. <laughs> And it's a weird room too, with those uh, those little lamps on every table. Yeah, no, it's and stuck in. You can't in ni- see anyone's face. Yes, it's stuck in <laughs> well, 1968. It feels like a mafia joint. <laughs> I made fun and of it the might way. Be. No, I. <laughs> I haven't been in there in so many years, but I used to. I'll tell you, I loved working out material there because right. you got 25 minutes, which back in those days, That's right? Was, to uh, get that, I paid my rent between Danger Fields. I would make 275 for the weekend. You'd make 50 a spot, and then an extra 25 if you did all five shows. Yeah. And then the cellar, I would do six or seven shows for the weekend. I would do three Friday, four Saturday. Yeah. So I made a, I, yeah. I paid my rent by doing Danger Fields but, in the cellar. But my thought at the time, you know, now if you go to Danger Fields first with your material and it doesn't get anything, I'm like, how do you still know that this material is really good? You're not even thinking, dude. You're in the, you're like, well, is there going to be fucking parking by the, by, oh, really? by Washington <laughs> Square? That's, that's all you're thinking of. Exactly I got to right. be on in 20 minutes or Essie's going to cut my throat. That's right. <laughs> I just thought, I just thought it was crazy that you didn't get the same response. I'm like, because the material is really strong. Yeah. Now that place is the bl- uh, really black strange. hole. Rodney used to come into Catch a Rising Star in his robe with a drink in his hand and he'd, he'd go up on stage. He goes, oh, my club's right down the street. Such a shithole. I won't even play there. <laughs> <laughs> he would say that every, and I think he meant it. You know, all the shit was happening at Catch. Yeah. But I, I, I did uh, about three, four summers ago, I did a bunch of sets at Danger Fields. I was working on shit. Yeah. I wanted to just be on stage mm-hmm. every night. <laughs> and there's a waiter in there. There's a guy. He's like probably 80-something years old. And I made like a crack about him being old. Without even looking up, he gives me the finger. <laughs> as, as he's serving drinks, <laughs> yeah. he gives me the bird. Guy probably going to cut my throat. I had somebody cut my throat. Uh, sure. I think of going there sometimes and doing sets. Because I, I, I do like the idea of just the, the piano. Right. Right. You put your notes on the piano. Right. They, they never gave you a hard time about that. They didn't care. No, they didn't care. I worked out s- over the years so much material in that room. Yeah. It just looks like you're stepping back in time a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Little Something bit. about it that 
that was kind of comforting in a weird way. Like, I didn't like the hecklers there. Occasionally you get that, and they didn't shut them up like I wish they would have. But uh, this, the room itself, I, I enjoyed working yeah, out Yeah, it's in. dark, and, and uh, like you said, with the piano, and it's actually not. The, my favorite room of all time, wow. New York City. Do you remember this? Is it, I don't even know if it's still around. There was a strip club called VIP. Yeah, sure. It was like on sure. 21st. I never did oh, it. I don't but know. Yeah. It, it was a titty bar, but in the back room was a beautiful, and they did comedy for about a year. To this day, it was still my favorite room in the elevated stage. Everybody's sitting uh, in like booths, right? You know what I mean? But yeah. but but the sound was like silk, right? I would murder, and sometimes it'd be twenty people there, other times it'd be hundred and twenty. But it was intimate. People, you know, it was a titty bar. You actually got a better clientele at a titty bar. Yeah. You have guys with suits on watching you, right, right, like right. and shit. And it was like almost a throwback, but the sound was perfect. That's pretty cool. It was my favorite when I heard, and then I'm reading about like the owners getting in trouble about taxes and shit. And I go, here uh, we go. Ah, that's gonna happen. And uh, that'll and happen from time to time. That was my favorite room in the whole city. Uh, out of all the, uh, we've been a VIP club, right? I think that's what it was called. I feel like yeah, that was called before. Cripples. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's such a, a common sounding name for a strip club. Oh, I, look I, at this place. Sorry, Jimmy. I, I think that, that was the play. That's it. Wow, that that does look like that's a nice it. room. That is it. But that you know though, those booths are meant for lap dances though. It's so obvious. Uh, no, the titty bars and the other. Yeah, but you you got to think that you kind of yeah. Kind but, of migrated into this room too. They probably had to for Giuliani's like twenty sixty yeah, forty yeah, sixty law yeah, or something. Maybe oh, it wasn't even right. that long ago though. I think it was after that, Jimmy. Maybe the law stayed though. The law might have yeah, stayed. Probably we have to do X amount of non sensual business. Doesn't or that non look? Doesn't that look? But yeah, you the, can see how that would be good. I mean, the sound system was unbelievable. Did, did they finally get rid of that law? I don't know. To that be law was hilarious. Now when it's the first down hit. to yeah, it's like sixty forty now. All these uh, all these porn shops would have all karate movies in the front window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember, it was mostly karate movies. <laughs> yes. And then way in the back, uh, I got my black belt there. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Twenty percent had to be no. I want uh, a sixty forty or I think sixty forty. It was the dumbest law because it's it was still a porn place. Yeah, it was overturned in twenty twelve. Yeah. It was all right because it was the dumbest Wait. thing ever. Look at you guys pulling this City shit City won a long-standing case. What year is that? That's 2010. Yeah. Go back to the Supreme Court one, Iraq. I, I think uh, uh, about a third one down. New York zoning law overturned in 2012. It sounds unconstitutional, I mean, to, to say a business can't do... I'll, I'll say it sounds just stupid because it, well, it wasn't getting up. anything done. People are still going in there, getting their... It, 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 maybe it, unconstitutional is the wrong term. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, actually. I just said, I just said that because that's what you say when you're outraged. <laughs> Take it easy, Napolitano. <laughs> I think it was, I think it was just stupid. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking uh, about. <laughs> just called stupid. That's it. <laughs> it was stupid. Well, it such, cleaned up some of that. It was pretty bad when I got here. Uh, oh such 6040 locations are not considered adult under the 1995 adult, adult use amendments to the zoning resolution, but would be considered adult and subject to severe. But, but, oh, my God. Oh, whatever. maybe the. OK, who knows? I, I, I don't know what's going on. They thought they could clean up the city by coming up with this weird 6040 law. But uh, you know, all these porn theaters, uh, porn shops, whatever, figured it out and said, "Ah, we'll just we'll just find a whole bunch of karate movies <laughs> and throw them in there." <laughs> and then who's going to count and see percentage? Right. But you know what, though, it did shut them down. But then again, uh, internet shut them down too, because you can get everything on your phone at home right now. And these last, ex oh. there's, there's no need to go there. Yeah, I mean, when you walk around uh, Times Square and see what it's turned into, it's un it's unbelievable for people that have been growing up around this city. Yeah, and I, and I remember when it was first hitting, everyone's thinking, there's no way Giuliani's going to get this done. It's Times Square. It's supposed to be seedy. Boy, did they push every single fucking guy out of there. It's really, I mean, back in the 80s, you could get molested by a guy in a trench coat. Now it's <laughs> yeah, Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had no pants on. You should have seen it coming. <laughs> we would be scared Long Island uh, kids coming in for a concert, and then we would definitely, we would walk up to Times Square just to, to see it. Yeah. It was crazy. First thing the seediness of it. Oh, just the first thing I did when I got to New York City, when I came down in like 1989, 90, I went to Show World and I, I spanked it on a plexiglass window, a girl dancing behind really it. Good for you. You put a token in, a thing would go up. Yes. Yeah. And then I took her out for coffee after. <laughs> no, you yes, did. Yes, I did. Can you imagine? <laughs> we exchanged numbers. A girl who diddles herself. That's how handsome Nick was, though. The fact that she in was a booth, smoking, this girl. <laughs> you could pull a girl out of a booth after dumping a load for a cup of Joe. Yeah. Do you know how fucking handsome you have to be to pull that off? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I had a car. Yeah, I, I would imagine those broads don't see any faces, but they saw Nick's face, or she did. Oh, my God. And I, and I was living in Woburn. I hadn't moved down yet. Woburn. I was, yeah, Woburn. And I remember her calling, like, my apartment, and, and I'm going, even I, I, it dawned on me, what am I doing? Fucking. <laughs> Jesus, Nick, you, you put up numbers. Look at you. Yeah, I had. Uh, Is that, I, you make that, I, you, that does, the top right looks like you. That doesn't even look like you there. This one does. Look at the wow. I mean, yeah, you've held up uh, well there, sir. Um, but holy fuck! No, I had a head of hair. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking now hair. Now full head of hair. That's the A list. Oh wow! I yeah. That. Did Remember you go that out? Show? Did you go out for? The, so you went out for the coffee? Yeah. At what time? Egg. Christ. Did you have to wait for her? It was, she, it was like the middle of the afternoon. You know? Oh, you went in there in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah. Oh, she was one of the day strippers. Yeah. That's you, rough. You got a girl who watched you jerk off in the afternoon to go for court. That's yeah. even more impressive. If she's yeah. coming off the shift, she might think you have a line. And, and it's one of the first things I did when I got to New York. <laughs> that's how you're supposed oh, to start. That, well, that's exactly what I was, think that's how you're supposed to start. It was fucking crazy. Now, when did you realize when you were having coffee that this was a bad idea? Not I, when I was having coffees. When I got back to Woburn and she called a few nights later. Oh, really? Yeah, let me bring her home for Christmas to my parents. <laughs> It's a movie. What's that on your dress? Oh, she just came from work. <laughs> uh, but uh, but that that show world play, I think it was called show world. But it, you know, you go up the stairs. It was like it was, yeah, it was huge. It was it's like an apartment. Still there. It is right. And they did a comedy club thing, and I wanted to shoot something in there for the opening of one of my specials, and they wouldn't let me use it. Why? <laughs> Who knows, Jesus. Dude? And it was All frustrating. Like it wasn't even going to be a big distraction. It was going to be like a very quick. Right. I guess they want no. You know, <laughs> they go. We don't want Norton's filthy. He'll yeah. ruin the reputation. <laughs> He'll ruin the reputation of this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid I'd, I'd sully their reputation. <laughs> this guy all, talks about jizz all the time. Yeah, he's a pig. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> all right. So, uh, did you guys see the the cruise the cruise video going I did not. and the Trump supporter? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Can I see it? I that, it actually it. made me like Cruz. I didn't. The, really? Yeah, I thought the Trump supporter was just a fucking idiot. Lying to... He yeah. was just repeating everything Trump had said. Uh, he had nothing. I, he was just reciting, uh, yeah, uh, Trump's lines. But he's just smiling at Cruz with his bad uh, o- Oakley ripoffs. <laughs> I don't even think they're Oakleys. Are... <laughs> oh, that guy. That's the last guy you want to stop and chat with on That's television. Right. That's right. This is really funny. Is, this is a shorter version of the video? I, I thought I saw... Ah, uh, whatever. Play this. I'm running to be everyone's president. Those who vote for me, even those we who don't, don't want vote you. for me. Well, you're, you're entitled to your view, sir, and I will respect it. In fact, I will Do the protect the math. I will Ooh, protect you know, you ask cases right. to drop out, it's your turn. Well, take your own words. Now I'm curious, sir. Time to drop out. When sir. Donald doesn't get to 1237, sure. you're going to call Donald's, him. Donald's out. definitely going to get to 1237. No, no, he's no, going to get more than 1237. Once again, Lion Ted. Oh, Lion Ted. Okay, Lion Ted. Donald, no one was your career politicians. I've killed America. You are the problem. You are the problem, politician. You are the problem. Can I ask you something? No. Can I ask you something? No. 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 See, can I ask you something? Is it no. weird? That's a, a, that's a fucking dominant thing Ted's doing. It's like how I get you in where I want you. Yeah. No. And that guy's, no. <laughs> and that guy's not having it. But no. you have people yelling like career politicians right. have killed America. You're the problem. That's exactly what Trump is tapping into. No, yeah. But it, they're also just reciting all of Trump's, uh, you know, lines. They're right about they're that. They're not really though. thinking for no, themselves. No, that was the only good line. But if you watch the whole thing, know, it, it's amazing how <laughs> Ted got this guy to listen because yeah. he was like a real pig-headed idiot at the beginning yeah. did he get him to listen yeah, yeah i mean fucking it's really a skill to i'm like how did he do that without well, spitting in this guy's let's, face let's watch more, and, yeah, and, these and, guys are good and he went right up to the trump supporters right yeah i believe yeah, yeah. which you know that takes balls let's hear this Politician, you are the problem. Can I ask you something? No. Can I ask you something? No. Out of all of the candidates, you like you, rich people who gold, buy politics. Where's your Goldman Sachs jacket at? We know your wife works there. Yeah, these are all the, the good lines. I don't agree with everybody, 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 but I believe agree? in Trump. He's the only one that's going to put us where we need to be. Sir, what are you going to do about the Second Amendment? Okay, okay, great question. What are you going to do about the Second Amendment? So, Indiana don't want you. See, well, he gave. Sir, you are entitled to this have is all letter, but I'll tell you this. Sir, facts matter. Truth but you want to carpet matters. bomb women and children, huh? Now, that's actually interesting. You say carpet bomb women and children. Those are your words. No, no actually, bomb. actually. I added the women and children because that's what you're going to be doing when you carpet bomb. Sir, sir, sir uh, let me respond to you. We are a nation that is better than anger and insults and cursing and rage. 
And I believe the people of Indiana have a common sense, good judgment. Let me let, well, let me start. So, uh, yeah, Trump. That's not that's not no, accurate of the whole. Well, that's what I, that's what I want to bring up. Trump yeah. has talked about how dishonest the media is. That's a perfect example. That's off CNN's YouTube page. Is they, that right? Yes, they added everything. Fucking CNN. To make they are the most look, evil. Fucks. Look, I, I'm not a. I hate Cruz the, the most out of all of them. I don't like this guy at all. But that's not fair for Ted Cruz. No, he was he was actually great with this guy in right. the answering. And he brought up women and children. And so Cruz says, well, you know, Donald Trump said he's going to kill the families of the terrorists. Yeah. Including the women and children. Sure. And he quoted what Trump said. It was, a, you know, well, when, he when, had an answer for everything this guy was saying. Well, so. we're about to play that video. I go, wait, this is a shorter version. So I was assuming they just took a little piece of it. No, yeah. they edited it all down yes. to make this uh, make Cruz look really yeah. stupid and uh, uh, making this guy look well, like a fucking... Well, that's what they do. I mean, I have more respect for MSN. Same pill. And they made the Trump supporter just look like, <clears throat> look like an, and maybe he was an asshole who didn't listen, but they made it look like Ted Cruz gave poor answers, and the guy was like, bruh, bruh. Right. Like, right. They, there's no substance there. Well, what, right. you don't, what you don't see, the, which we're seeing here, you can see where all the edits are, because it's flash edits. Exactly. So that that was uh, at every point where Ted Cruz was actually ex trying to explain himself. Yeah, and he did. He had he had a good answer for everything. See, this is, now Fox News... Give them credit on their YouTube page. It looks like it's on edit and it's, it's, uh, it's about six and seven, a half minutes. Yeah, six and a half yeah, minutes. Six, almost yeah. seven minutes long. Yeah, now CNN's fucking... Wow, that was fucking bad. And that goes to Trump's point. There, he always points to them, goes, there they are, the dishonest yeah. media. Yeah, no, they are the fucking... Out of everything, everybody talks about how much the Congress is hated and the politicians, the media is the most corrupt fucking... It's nice and they see, have the most juice. It's nice to see them finally getting a beating, though, in the last yeah. few years. Yes. And uh, what non, what a nonsense of humor they have. Like, Larry Wilmore, I don't know if it was talked <laughs> about, the Post said that he was bombing at the thing. And I watched his set. He didn't bomb. He didn't bomb at all. And they, you know when he got groaned? When he made fun of those fucking babies in the media. Right. They couldn't handle it. Oh, yeah. I he had some funny fucking Obama lines. Humorless. He had some funny lines I, about everything. He was really I, good. You uh, Really? Uh, I, yes. I, I thought his material was really good. I thought his presentation wasn't that great. I don't know him as a stand-up. Um, but I thought that his he had some great lines. And when he did Wolf Blitzer, he goes, speaking of drones, how is Wolf Blitzer yeah. still on TV? Oh, uh, it's hilarious. And the crowd went, oh. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That fucking babies? Yeah, no, they are everything. The they set the tone for this politically correct diarrhea we've been going through. They, they, they are. They lifted up Trump. The media lifted him up. I mean, Trump's a showman and all that, and then uh, the media well, yeah, played right into it. Well, yeah, because they get huge ratings. Of course. Yeah. So, you know. But it was nice the, to see them get a beating, though. But, yeah, absolutely. The media in general, yeah. yeah. But that was that was very dishonest from CNN's point. CNN is the fucking worst. You're the fucking, fucking worst. news. You, you should, you, you got to just throw that up unedited. Even MSNBC, at least you know where they're coming from. I have more respect for MSNBC than I do CNN. They pretend they play it down the middle. They're the fucking worst. Yeah, no. And then when you fly Delta, you have to listen to this shit in the fucking turn. Why? Well, I, I think I, you all the time, because I know you fly. Wait, what happens? And when you fly Delta, fucking, you know, uh, TB, I mean, uh, you know, uh, CNN's owned by Ted Turner and fucking, yeah. it's in every terminal, Delta's blaring away. Yeah. People trying to read. Right. And they got CNN I got to listen to Wolf Blitzer before my plane crashes. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the last, that's the last voice I hear is that fucking drone. And I don't even hate Wolf Blitzer. It's just the idea that it's, it's, I don't want to the, then to shove that down my throat. It's not that I hate Wolf Blitzer, but he is monotone. He's horrible. He's had a gray beard since he was 11. <laughs> he's probably 38 years old. He looks like he's 117. <laughs> But I don't it, like the fucking CNN bed music they play during the Situation <laughs> Room. Will you stop it? He's their, DJ. he's their main guy, and he does just drone. He's been there forever, right? But he shows no uh, emotion or personality no, or anything. He's a real German. Just like, it's <laughs> he's white, a real it, German. Right? It's, it's white noise. Doesn't smile. It's it's <laughs> it's really creepy, actually. <laughs> it's really blitzer. creepy. Uh, what what do you think of Carly Fiorina? Funny when I heard I heard uh, uh, Ted Cruz and uh, Carly Fiorina running together. I go, as long as they're not fucking together, I want to see those kids. <laughs> uh, she's I, a long, flat face. She's a weird. She looks like a piece of artwork that you hang on your wall. <laughs> 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 
She seems very hateable. I right? like her. I don't know. Do I mean, you like her? I, she's a great speaker. I like her. I think she's got balls. And the fact that she hates the fucking thick ankle dog face Hillary so much <laughs> yeah. makes me like her even more. Did you see her fall and, off uh, the stage? I didn't. You I, haven't I, seen I did this not yet? see that. I mean, no. Can I, can I see that? <laughs> Jimmy's going to look. It's weird to see. Because she looks like a greyhound. She no, should I, have better balance than that. I heard she was, what, on stage with Kiss or something? No. <laughs> she, she was introducing the Cruz family. And oh, then no. she dramatically uh, introduces them. And then the curtain opens and they come out and then she steps a half a step backwards right off the stage and uh, Ted doesn't help her. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. You haven't seen Where this is yet? it? I haven't. All right, here we go. This made me laugh. I heard about it on the way in here. This made me laugh so You're fucking welcome. hard. Your next first family, Heidi Cruz, your next first lady, Carolyn and Catherine, and, and the next president of the United States, Ted Cruz. <laughs> And he literally doesn't even help her up. <laughs> now I'm voting for him. Holy shit. It looks like somebody opened a trap door. She just fell through like the... And, and, uh, Ted, it looks like Ted saw. Did he see He or... looked right down at her. Go back. He goes, there's no blood. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then Heidi Cruz, the guy's picking her up. Ted doesn't see right there. He looked down twice. He oh. saw. Go back. There he is. He's, yeah, he's looking, looking right, right at her. At her. He, he, probably saw a, he probably saw a dick coming out of her skirt. <laughs> wow, what a dick. Oh, isn't that nah, He's busy. Come on. You can't be falling down on the job. I picked you for vice president. Nothing better than when someone falls off a stage, Well, do you man. remember the guy? Well, I think Dole fell out. But remember the guy that was Gary? Was it Gary Bauer? One of those religious chooches. I don't know. He, he was flipping pancakes on stage. Really? Yeah, and he, and he stepped back and <laughs> fell through the curtain. <laughs> Come on, let me see. I this. don't think it was Gary Bauer. Check Bauer. I don't know. The, the if greatest I've ever seen is this. Kelsey Grammer falling off stage. Yeah, that's well, the greatest fall. What one was that? He was doing some was play. It? Oh, really? And he tumbled off. Yeah. All right, wait, Bisque. Uh, is this it? What? Look what? <laughs> oh, that's all the Bisquick, and he falls back. <laughs> How good's my memory, dude? <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's pretty good. I don't that's even know That's because I'm Gary, 54. I don't even know who Gary Bauer is. He ran for He was like a religious dude. Yeah, I don't That's remember. one of those things. Look, look. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to him in a wheelchair running next to him. He needs a ramp. Is, to there, get a... is there anything funnier than someone falling? Nothing. No, I, I don't no. think there is. Especially holding a fucking, a hot <laughs> thing, a pen. <laughs> Try not to have it fall on them. It's, it's fucking timeless. You know, uh, 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 W.C. Fields yeah. said it. They're talking about making people laugh, making a comedian laugh. The difference between making a comedian laugh and making a civilian laugh. Yeah. To make a civilian laugh, you dress a, a guy up like an old lady and push him down the stairs. Sure. To make a comedian laugh, you push an old lady down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. That's like the best quote I've ever heard. That's comedy perfect. Work. Show him Kelsey uh, Grammer for old time's sake. This is wonderful. And the audio is even better. Oh. The trip through It's a Small World, pretending I was a U.N. interpreter. Oh, <laughs> Wow, that was really, really bad. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Show that again, please. He was in the middle of a, a small world pretending I was a UN interpreter. <laughs> <laughs> you could have told me he was paralyzed. I'd still be fucking. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> Uh, you're 100% right, Nick. What is that? It's, it's the fact that he's got his hand that I'm saying something important. Yes. Yeah. Like he's being so cool. He's got his hand in his pocket. Yeah. Joe Cool. Yeah. He's doing some serious acting. He's uh, he's all about yeah. it. A real I, gentleman. Right. And he didn't try to hide that. He was, he's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Bone sticking out of his ass. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. It's <laughs> the greatest. It's it's a a small world, world, pretending I was a UN interpreter. <laughs> <laughs> you never see it. Oh. I don't go to the theater often. What was he doing, FDR? You, you turned me on to pancakes, I turned you on to this one. I, I've never seen the Gary Bauer one, so. Oh, God, I'm, I got tears in my eyes. Yeah, Gary Bauer falls with a curtain. Oh, God. The hot skittle. <laughs> with, with the hot skittle. <laughs> I would have used that commercial if I was Bisquick. I would have been. <laughs> Let me see the Gary Bauer one last time. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> it's like he's going after a fly ball. Yes. Holding a hot pan. <laughs> so the last thing you want to do is fall back off a stage while holding a hot pan. <laughs> nice inch of Crisco in there. Metal. 480 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that cunt. I'm so happy that happened. <laughs> I think he caught it. He's in tension. Well, good he? for him. <laughs> oh, look. And, and he still got it. Oh, he jumps up like, I got it. And Bob Dole. They didn't Bob Dole, but that was understandable. He's, you know, his leg. He exactly hundred. couldn't brace him. He lost half his defense mechanisms. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fell on a pen. Uh. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Oh, if you want to go old school, the grape lady. You've seen the grape lady, right? I don't know. One more. You rock will find it. I, I forgot the name of this Hope one. Hope I was going to give you. I don't watch TV. I read. Watch this. And an one excuse. of the things that's done You've is. You've seen this one, right? Right here. These buckets are filled with grapes. What kind of grapes? These are filled with Chamberson grapes. And the winner this Saturday who stomps the most juice will actually win an overnight stay here at Chateau Long. You ready? You ready to try it? Yeah, oh, sure. Oh, Jesus. Go. You've ever seen it? All right. Have you ready? Seen Give this? us a 30 second time. No, here but go. I can see what's going to okay. happen. So, what's the deal here? I'll wait for the you, noise she a makes. There's contest to stomp. And how are you measuring who does the best? Stomping. And whoever stomps the most juice wins an overnight stay, but it's not the only thing you can do. The measuring cups are down below, right? The measuring cups are down below. All right. And, and if you if you win, you get to stay at Chateau Alain. And what else do you have going on here? Well, if grape stomping's not your thing, you can come and spend the day listening to live music, eating international foods, having wine tours and tastings, vineyard tours, seminars, arts and crafts. It's a lot of fun. A whole day. Stop. She's actually hurt. No. Oh, that guy's the best. One of these in anger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, that guy really cracked the case, didn't he? Thank you, Kevin Obvious. <laughs> you would swear that's an SNL bit with the guy in the. She knocked the window. I know that yeah. noise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh great. That's, that's every sound I've ever wanted a girl to make. Oh. I fucked her. <laughs> you know she's really hurting, but who gives a fuck? It's so fucking funny. Well, women don't know how to break their it's fall. Fun, no, they don't know how to put their she's hands falling quick. <laughs> Leave it in my face. Oh, protect my nails. Stop. And the asshole cameraman is filming the castle. You have news happening, fuck. <laughs> and he's filming the castle. The lady's paralyzed. No. He's gone. Look at it. Is that a, is that a uh, built-in pool in the third yeah. floor? <laughs> he's filming the empty buckets. Oh, God. Go to the newsman again. Uh. I mean, why can't you be a real person? Go, holy shit. Him, him and Halle oh, my goodness. Something. He just goes, oh, oh. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Boy, dear. I think she's actually hurt. No, there. I think she is. Yeah, she's Ouch. hurt. She wow. took a hard fall off there. Boy, okay. Gosh, I hope she's okay. Yeah, okay. I can see no, your sincerity. Make sure she is. We'll try and check on her and get back right. to you as soon as we can. We'll, we'll be back right But first, the weather. <laughs> That's all you need to know about these fucking news people. Cut to her being helicoptered right. to a paralysis center. <laughs> they read fucking the... with great feet. Although, what is he supposed to say? Well, I guess she'll be shitting into a bag for the rest of her life back after this. <laughs> How about a, oh my god. Wow. I think, she, I think she broke her fat tits. <laughs> <laughs> she got cocky, though. You saw that? Yeah. She got cocky. Yes. She was going for something. And you know what's funny about that? I've stepped on grapes from my grandfather when I was a little kid. No kid. Yeah. Not with my bare feet. Not on a platform. Yeah. But uh, in his basement. Mm. We used to have rubber boats Who's predicted to win in Indiana? We got a break. Oh God, Trump. Trump's, a, Trump's uh, ahead. Well, he wasn't supposed to, but yeah, no, he's but got, he's up by what's fifteen. Up Mark, Mark hey, Norman, buddy. hey, hey, just walking yeah, in like that. man, I like this. Uh, yeah, Trump's up by. Uh, what is he up by? Fifteen. Oh, wow. is it fifteen now? That's what I heard on the way in here. It depends what you look at. Ted says it, oh, it's all over the map, you know. Yeah, but he has to say that. And uh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> The lofts were a plenty just a few minutes ago, Mark Norman. The who, what, huh? We were just playing videos of people really hurting themselves before falling down. Nothing oh. funny. Oh, it's just the best. <laughs> Nothing we fucking sh- funny. We should take a break. Let Mark settle in. We got Nick DiPaolo killing it. The Nick DiPaolo uh, podcast available at uh, connectpal.com slash Nick. That's correct. All right. That's they get a big it, you, you one, right? It, you get it free on iTunes on Mondays, but if you want two to three more shows a week, go to connectpal.com slash Nick. They were and never... a buck a week, three ninety nine a month. This stupid radio was uh, they was never able to figure out the Nick DiPaolo, which, <laughs> which to this day blows my fucking Probably mind. Probably my fault, though. 
blows my fucking mind. You were close so many times. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> but now the podcast, so that's great. I, I fucking it's it's the favorite thing I'm doing right now. Great. I actually look forward to doing the show every day. So, so. go to connectpal.com slash Nick to get his podcast. I'm telling you, you won't be it, uh, it's, disappointed. It's vicious. Uh, and then you got uh, Ha Comedy Club in Yonkers. Yeah, I hope it's open. It's like a brand new club. May thirteenth and fourteenth. I call I call up the ticket office. The guy goes, "Oh, we'll be open by then." We had a few. Problems. Oh, it's oh, a new geez. place. Are you sure? A friend of mine did it. He had some rough words to say. Is it open? It's open, but uh -oh. you know, not to the public. It's getting there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not to the public. <laughs> yeah. They're still figuring out their shit. Yeah, they got a little kinks. I don't care. I signed a contract. They pay me. Is it I'll, brand, I'll brand new place? I'll pull up the parking lot. Yeah. It could be great, you know. It could be like twenty minutes from my house. What am oh, I looking right. for? Yeah, 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 but of course not. Like you said, they have a problem. Yeah, a friend did it. And he said there was, uh, you know, he fell off the stage. When the yeah. lighting was bad. It was Bruce. Bruce <laughs> put a hole in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, and uh, Jimmy's hitting the road again this weekend. Thursday night is Baltimore. I think it's called the Rams Head, mm -hmm. and then Friday is the Bethlehem, the Sands Casino uh, Event Center. Doing that on Friday. Friday. And that's it for this weekend. At the end of the month, I have L.A. Club uh, the Novo, and then uh, the Mirage in Vegas, the 27th. June 11th is West Hampton. I have a bunch of dates being added. Nice. There you go. JimNorton.com for all the uh, dates. We're going to step aside for a little bit, and Mark Norman uh, joins us next. Stay yeah. There. <laughs> all right. We got Nick DiPaolo in studio. Mark Norman. Hey, hey. We were talking about uh, Larry already. <laughs> A oh bit. yeah, the uh, white black guy with the n bomb. Good old Larry Wilmore. I, I I thought the material was strong. I thought the jokes were good, but I thought his presentation wasn't great. Jimmy liked his presentation. I did. Yeah, cause I, cause you know what it is? Cause I looked at the post link, and it said uh, Larry Wilmore bombed. So I'm like, oh wow, he must have ate his dick. So of course I watched it, and he was doing well. Like he, he opened up, he's getting huge laughs. I'm like, and then all of a sudden I saw where he lost them, which is when he did the media stuff, and I'm like, oh fuck there them. You go. No wonder they're saying he bombed. Those they couldn't, laugh. Uh, they couldn't laugh at themselves. I thought he did great. I thought he did very well, man. I was, I was, I guess because I was expecting it to be bad. I was really pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Well, the show is so bad. Have you ever tried to watch that thing? I've only, I occasionally watch the host. I, I like the when Jay year. did it. Jay had good material. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I, mean, I thought Seth, I thought Seth, what's his name, did well too. I thought uh, Seth uh, Myers. Seth Rogan. Myers did well. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. I thought Obama did well. Obama, Obama he always does. Stuff. Yeah, but he's you know he's in a room with the uh, right. two thousand people who've been sucking his dick for eight years. Got, it's like got, a bringer show. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He had a good set. He really did. He know he's smooth as silk. I mean, he's, do they always he follow is. the president? Is that how it works? Yeah, man. Yeah, which is kind of weird, the isn't it? Should go last. He's the headliner, yeah. isn't he? What the fuck is that right. about? That puts the comedian in a horrible spot. Of course, but that's how protected. It's so typical. I know you're. Yeah. I know you're the stand up, but still, you're following the fucking president. No, I know. The Imagine. fuck. Yeah, that's how they do it in Canada. The headliner hosts. Why, yeah. Why yeah. Leno blast uh, Cosby it's... and then uh, praise Larry Wilmore? Did Cosby say anything bad about it? He better not have. Uh, uh, Cosby's uh, done a few things. I don't know. The N word yeah. thing, right? The whole. What do you think of the, the N word thing? Uh, with... I just thought it was forced and. It seemed forced. Also, he's not that black, so it was weird. I, I don't know. And then he... Yeah, that's his writer. That's whoever helped write him the yeah. shit. You know, some young kid, but this will be fucking hip. He should have said something else like spook. Mix it up a little, you know? Yeah, yeah throw it, it with some anger. And he, and he, had, a, he had a stutter step. <laughs> right he said Jigaboo earlier. He had a stutter step Did right really? before that because you could see that he's like, oh, it's my racist. God, am I really going to do this? Right. He was feeling it like, oh, fuck, I hope this works. Yeah, yeah. that's not him. He's not. He said, uh, yeah, Jigaboo earlier. I forget what. Oh, all right. Well, there he's you go. making fun of... Uh, I don't like that word. Was it Jackson or something? On the president, on the bill? Oh, Jackson, yeah. Was that it? Yeah. Tubman. Yeah, he probably wanted to say, uh, you know, right. nigger, but he's like, yeah, I better not the president. Yeah. So we got Will Moore's last line. Cause, uh, did you hear the last line, Jimmy? I did not. No, oh, I watched right, most let's of play it. it. Let's play it then. Fuck I it. did this guy. It was show. on my phone. Listen for the slight stutter step, because he realizes, oh boy, this better work. Yeah, you got to I lived in a country where people couldn't accept a black quarterback. Now think about that. A black man was thought by his mere color not good enough to lead a football team. That's not why, stupid. And now, to live in your time, Mr. President, when a black man can lead the entire free world. I guess it's not that racist a country. Um, Uh, words alone do me no justice. Um, so, Mr. President, if I'm going to keep it 100, yo, Barry, 
You did it, my nigga. <laughs> did it. <laughs> That just yeah. feels weird. Yeah. It yeah. was a weird one after that statement, because uh, Larry Wilmore looked like he wanted to cry, but it was still nice. I mean, you know. It would have been yeah. more natural coming out of Bob Hope's mouth. <laughs> 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 the Barry part well, was imagine pretty Michael Richard, Imagine if Michael Richards was hosting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, the White House defending Larry Wilmore saying the N-word. Oh, hey, gee, what do you Obama? think they're going to do? They yeah, said they understood come on. the spirit. It was yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. If that was a white comic, I'd like to see the fucker. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Bro. I mean, mean a liberal white comic. Even, you even John Stewart. You think that would have been, been a issue. slight problem? Of course, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm kidding. They would have given Obama eight more years. I do like that Obama said that on Marin's podcast, though, and I like that uh, they didn't make a big deal. They, they could have made a big deal about it. And they're like, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, well, when he does my podcast, <laughs> he tried to do our show. And we said no. Yeah, we were booked. We were, we were no, booked. good. Yeah. That's right. You had uh, Colin, you know, Colin oh, Quinn oh, was in. in and, I thought Bill know. Nye was. In. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. And then the the Kurt Schilling thing. They edited him out of his... ESPN Disney. What Go fuck f your mothers. I fucking hate you. What they do? They added them out of what? Place. What happened? You know the thirty thirty things they do. Yeah, they had an hour long one, and they. You know, Schilling get canned, right? Yes. He's what always. Was what was it? Four days in October or something like that? Yeah. It was called. And... Yeah. So he just got canned. And, and so they they do the four days in October about the Sox coming back against the Yankees. They cut out game six. Mm. They edit him right out. The bloody Sox. Wow. The bloody Sox. And saying they did it for time. That's disgusting. Uh. That's Disney. That's everything that I hate about the world. I hate fucking ESPN. I've been saying it. Watch Pardon Around the Horn. These fucking racist Fucking Bomani Jones. They can't hide their hate for white people. Jam <laughs> Jamel Hill. Fucking. Uh, uh, no, seriously. I, I Kevin Blackstone. About. They I, say the most racist fucking anti-white shit, and Disney just takes it up their fucking mm. pooper. I don't know who any of those guys are. I, I never watch ESPN. They're all writers. Just because ESPN doesn't stand by its talent ever. Of course they not. They just it's never. Disney. But they never defend their guys but, for, for more than. Unless it's the most mild thing that they know won't be a problem. But to say that, uh, they edited out for time. Have the balls to say, look. No, exactly. You That's know, the, exactly. No we don't like it. them. We don't like them, so we decided to do this. But how about the fact you get rid of somebody because you don't like what they tweeted? And then yeah. Kurt is uh, being very vocal, saying yeah. that there's a lot. I hope of, so. There's a lot of racist people that work at ESPN. Yeah, he really. Says we had a locker room mentality over there. Yeah. Mike Will Bond's like, I use the N-word every day, every, you know, ba 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 He wrote the speech. Uh, yeah. Let's see, yeah. But he's black, so that's not an edgy thing. Right, so. right. But they edited him out of That's this. terrible. Yeah. That, as a Yankee fan, I'm happy they did. I wish they could have <laughs> shot him the night before the game. <laughs> but that is one of the most amazing things. I mean, that's an iconic image. And for them to not show that, yeah, it's, it's, it's like... It's, well, it's, you know what? Then, I mean, uh, then yank the whole fucking program. Yeah. No, they put politics ahead of what they did. It's just, they can't help themselves. These What's, fascist no. fucks. It's like being mad at Reggie Jackson and cutting out the third home run. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck No, that's exactly doing? right. Yeah, you can't do that. That's then, terrible. Then don't run the fucking thing. It, it was Redbone. It's going to drive me nuts. Redbone is the uh, singer. Uh, uh, Bill uh, Burr's opening song. Uh -huh. And Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, I'll tell you that Cherokee can sing. Is he dead or alive? I, I don't know much about Redbone. Don't know. Three million man. hits. Not too shabby. He's probably gone. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Adam in Nebraska. Adam, go ahead, sir. Hey, there's more story to behind the shilling thing. He didn't just simply get fired. He went up to ESPN and said that, you know, everybody there, there's a bunch of people that were racist and that there's so many people there that agree with him. That ESPN is just, I mean, it wasn't just. He said people. that after he got canned. After. He did. So they gave him a middle finger to him to go fuck himself. No. Sorry. Sorry. He, they fucking don't like him because he's an outspoken conservative. You know who fucking runs no, ESPN? You work for Disney. You work for Disney. You know, this was his third uh, violation. Okay, so, so, so fucking... This was the third time he did something he wasn't supposed to do. Okay, so monitor Kevin Blackstone every time he says something that offends me and fucking uh, Bomani Jones. It's not, dude, you work for ESPN. I understand how it works. I've you worked for a corporation. You've been born, and he keeps fucking doing it. He doesn't do anything. He speaks his fucking mind. Just like well, Bomani Jones do does. Do that. No, you, you can't do that. You, you know what you're getting oh, into. Oh, Whitey can't do it. I see. Three times. I, I get your point about you can say what you want. Yes, but there's companies who choose not to employ you. I understand that, that dude, but they, they're very selective of what they're offended at. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
You can't argue that they're not a very li- Disney's the most liberally politically correct environment, and Absolutely. and that's who you're working for. Yes, I, I would give you that. Okay. I understand that. <laughs> okay, that, that's like working at Fox and having a fucking opinion that they don't like, and they've done that with people before. You know what you're getting into, especially when you've been already suspended twice. For doing shit that was All right, Adam, but the point they is... They knew the, who they were hiring before. Yeah. It's not the first. He didn't start speaking out before he fucking was hired by uh, ESPN. But also the point, Adam, is that uh, then they edited him out of that 30 for 30. Is that is that right? Yes, absolutely. No, they're changing yeah, you're, history. You're fucking. Then now they're changing history. Kurt Schilling was a, a big deal uh, the four days first in October. Last, I'm a Yankee fan. I just fucking delete the whole series first of all. <laughs> I, 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 now, I, now we're getting to the I, tape. I, I understand <laughs> the emotions. <laughs> right. that, that never happened in my fucking world. Anyway, look, uh, now we're getting to the real fucking uh, crux yeah. of the issue. Look, uh, you know, we used to be able to... Uh, we don't agree that you're, you're getting fired for stuff you're saying on your personal time at all, but now that's the world we live in, unfortunately. We lost yeah. that battle years ago. Remember? There was still a, a chance we could have won that battle. I didn't... We uh, lost it, though. I didn't even necessarily agree with them, but it's like, it doesn't mean... You, you can't get fired for expressing an opinion that's going to bother some people. That's yeah. what open dialogue is. That's why they hired them in the first place. Some people say things you like. Yep. Some people say things you don't like. And uh, if he's not calling for violence, uh, that's one thing. Of but course. he's not. He's just saying he of doesn't course. agree with it, and he yeah. should be allowed. He to. absolutely should not have been fired for that. No, especially on his own time. But uh, we, we lost that. It wasn't smart of him, just because of like the fact that he he's had so many fucking like he's broke. It's like, dude, it's not smart just because you know that they're dicks. You gotta be careful. Just do it. It's like if you want to work for them, understand that they're fucking. Maybe dicks he had enough it. of them. Maybe Probably yeah. knows coming. <laughs> What's going to happen to someone like Kurt Schilling? He needs. Yep. He kind of needs the cash. What's he going to do though? What do you mean? He can he sign cards like Pete Rose does? Yeah, Pete, <laughs> Pete has a good shit. time doing that. <laughs> Signing he baseballs. I can go work for Fox Sports and, and 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 continue. I mean, people like the 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 nonsense that he brings from from that aspect. And and I, I agree. There are plenty of people on ESPN that that will lean and and go into race and do different things that are politically driven. It's all of it is, is just annoying. I don't want to turn on fucking ESPN for politics. Right. I don't want to hear Steve A. Smith tell me how I should go Let's or see. what I should look at the world as. Yeah. Tell me the fucking sports and, and, and tell me what's going on. I don't enjoy any of that, but this dude knew who he was signed up with. He's been warned twice. But you shouldn't be okay with that. We should all be no, yelling exactly. and screaming because what, yeah. the, what ends up happening is you're going to get very boring fucking bland TV because everyone's going to be scared to speak their minds on anything. Without a doubt. That, that's a fair argument. The point of him getting cut out was, why do you go and then throw people underneath the bus? You already got fired. You can And then you go... All right, but my you. point is then, then, then yank the whole program. You can't change the history of what happened up there in Boston. Well, fuck Boston. First. <laughs> well, <laughs> look, I hate Kurt Schilling, but you're you're wrong, sir. You can't. You you're saying he's already been warned. He already screwed up twice. But all he was doing was expressing opinions, and I don't think you should. I don't think he did anything wrong to get warned for. Like I don't think that he did. He didn't commit any cardinal sin. It wasn't like he was out saying that so and so should be killed. Yeah. He and, just didn't have an opinion that they agree with. And then he was pointing out the hypocrisy of ESPN, saying, "Oh my God, you should hear what these guys are saying." But they didn't, yeah. uh, uh, well, according he to Nick, they have said it on air. But uh, I don't know. All right. Thanks, Adam. Agree to disagree, gentlemen. All right, mister. Wait, Casey and the Sunshine Band wrote Come and Get Your Love? Oh, jeez. Now know. I'm all oh, no, I don't like the song. Up. Yeah. No, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Redbone <laughs> performed it, right? Casey and the Sunshine Band never had a version of that, I don't think. Not that I know Not of. that we know. Of. That's right. the version you just heard right yeah. there. Yeah. I, I, you know, Kurt, Kurt was calling out everybody because he knows how. Yeah, but he didn't say any names. There. But it's the environment we live in, and that's what you got to be aware the of. The point is, the leftists are fascist fucks right now. You can't argue with that. The left is one that shuts down free fucking speech, whether it's college campuses or wherever. Mm-hmm. Or fucking not letting Trump into his own fucking rally. Mm-hmm. Fascist little fucks. Yeah, that was fun Case to watch. Close. Him, Him uh, climbing up the hill. That was fun to watch. <laughs> no, I enjoy it. It makes great television. Don't Did get me wrong. The, you see the one guy, his whole job was to take care of Trump's tie? Did you, did you no. pick up on that? No, I didn't see that one. He's walking and the tie's flying over his shoulder and the one guy keeps trying to put it back down. Oh, that's a good plays. gig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he does other stuff. Uh, but he was, I didn't see that. He was very concerned about Trump's tie as he was trying to get it to, what was it, the hill? Well, it was made in China. <laughs> 
He's leading in the national poll for the first time. I know. He, but by the end of the summer, he'll be up over Hillary by 20 points. Trust me. This mm. whole fucking narrative that we're handing it to Hillary it is such bullshit. And the more they say, the more they say it, the more you realize how scared the left is. I was one of those guys. You He's got Democrats converting for Christ's sake. That hasn't happened in a thousand years. I, I truly was one of those guys thinking that uh, this was Hillary's uh, to lose. But man, I mean, I think ankle dog face. Hope she gets fucking arrested. The, uh, the, 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 <laughs> the right, the right is scared of him too, though. They don't want him either. I no, mean, I, oh, I know. He's really but humiliating start, all of them. But he's, they're starting to back down. They have to. You they know have, what I mean? They have no choice. What are you going to do? He's going to take his ball and go home. Dude, he alpha mailed the entire political exactly. system. Exactly. That's why I'm not even like a huge fan, but he won me over. <laughs> when he started making fun of that crippled reporter, I almost fell off my couch. Like, <laughs> like, I didn't got see my that. Vote. He's got my vote. You, know, you remember when he did this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, that's when I said, this guy does not give a fuck. No, he does and not. He's not answering to anybody. And you do that on ESPN, they'll fire you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get hired if you, you know. But uh, possibly our next president could get, get away with doing that. <laughs> what yeah. a fucking weird world we live in. That's <laughs> what no, you want. Getting stupid. Free speech guy. Getting fucking stupid. Uh, wants to talk to Jimmy about Kiss Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. Okay. Yeah? I saw that, yeah. Uh, let's say hi to Sean in San Francisco. Sean. Hey. Good morning. Hello. And, you know, you can thank uh, Guardian of the Galaxies for, I don't know if revitalizing that song, if it ever needed revitalizing, but Come and Get Your Love uh, was such a huge hit that all the kids have, uh, all the kids have it on their iPod now. It's a, it's a major comeback. They even released a movie in a, looks like a Sony Walkman, and it has all those 70 songs listed on it. What? I thought it was about Kiss. Yeah, I thought you wanted to talk about Kiss. Yeah. I'm confused. I do want to talk about Kiss. You okay, know, go ahead, bro. I, oh, okay. I, um, <laughs> well, because Kiss is kind of a 70s rock, I guess, too. And so I'm not into Kiss and not a big fan of Kiss. But I had told uh, Jimmy on his show, and I didn't get a chance to uh, speak with him directly, is that when they did the Hall of Fame induction, uh, I recorded it for Nirvana and ended up watching uh, most of it. And the guy who introduced uh, inducts uh, Kiss with his speech, if you if you play that speech, or um, or if Jimmy listens to it, that guy in five minutes will give you all the reasons why Kiss is the greatest rock band ever, and any argument against Kiss will be void because you'll have key points that forever you'll win the battle that Kiss is the greatest rock and roll. Oh, I know what he's talking yeah. about. The guy that did the introduction? Is that yeah. what he's talking about? Who was it? Who was it again? Who was it? It was somebody hip and respected. Who, who was it? I I, 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 uh, I don't know. I almost... Uh, it was, uh, was it uh, from... Uh, it was somebody almost... Tom... Uh, Morello? Tom Morello? I don't know, but that's who you would be thinking that, about. I think that's it. They, uh, the, it, it uh, really, uh, he's right. It was the greatest introduction I've ever heard. Oh, really? You're oh, my guy. guy. Yeah, he fucking... I almost went to that okay. show. Like that. Uh, I loved them I would have so went much. with you. Yeah, you should have went to that one, Jimmy. I couldn't. I had a gig. It was really good money. There was and no I, way to cancel it. And I understand prick. your point on music now, but you, uh, we thought you wanted to talk about Kiss. But you, you try to turn some of these youngsters on to some, some fucking songs, and they don't want to hear you. And, uh, but then you put it in a hip movie. What are you doing, Nick? Taking a picture of you. Ooh. And then you put it in a hip movie, and then everyone's on board with the song. I feel like if the song's good, it's good. I don't I know think, if you, you yeah. need the movie. Well, I guess the movie's yeah it puts it movie, back on the on the map. Yeah, the movie pushes it over the top again. I guess I don't know. Uh, here's Tom Morello. You want to listen to this? Sure. Six and a half, we'll give it a minute. Six and a half minutes. Hold, let me just point out to Iraq that when, when, when one of the bosses says they want to listen to it, you don't bark with sarcasm and hatred. <laughs> Six and a half minutes. <laughs> Wasn't Tom Morello some of the NWA or some? He was on Ra <laughs> No, Radio seriously. Machine. Radio Radio Machine. Machine. But what else? No, but I, I thought he mentioned. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm confused. That's the somebody. old kiss. I love that. I love that. Those are the Destroyer costumes. I love those days. What was the name of the band he did with Chris uh, Cornell? I forgot it. Oh, Audio Slave. Audio, Audio Slave. Slave, thank you. <laughs> Had some great stuff with Audio Slave, too. Let's listen to Tom. He was like a huge fan of Kiss, this guy. ...faces on the planet, and one of the most cool. iconic and badass bands of all time. Tonight is the night that Kiss enters the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. All right, he was all right. Yeah. That was it? No. Oh, oh I was like, geez, we really built that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Want to hear more of it? It was my favorite band. And it was not always easy being a KISS fan. 
just as Kiss were relentlessly persecuted by critics, yep. their fans were relentlessly persecuted by the self-appointed arbiters of taste in middle schools and high schools across America. Arguments and even fistfights were not uncommon. I recall as a 15-year-old telling one bully, you can kiss my kiss-loving ass, because Kiss was never a critic's band. Kiss was a people's band. Yeah. Yeah. This is depressing. <laughs> and so I waited in a long line on a bitter cold Chicago morning to buy a ticket for my first concert, a Kiss concert. I was especially thrilled because imprinted on the ticket were words that hinted that it was going to be a special event. The ticket said, a partial view of Kiss. I was certain this meant the band were going to reveal some new secret corner of their artistic souls. <laughs> in reality, it meant that my seat was behind a pole. <laughs> Still, that concert was the most exciting, cathartic, loudest, most thrilling two hours of kiss. live music I've seen to this day. <laughs> and while there is often debate about who should and shouldn't be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I think the criteria are actually quite simple. Impact, influence, and awesomeness. And KISS have all three in spades. Impact. Kiss have sold over 100 million albums worldwide. They have 28 gold albums in the United States alone. Oh. That's more than any other American rock band in history. Their theatrics... Their theatrics were indisputably groundbreaking, but it was Kiss's music that had an impact on me. All four guys wrote great songs. All four guys were great lead singers. They practically invented the live album with Kiss Alive. Then came Destroyer, Rock and Roll Over, Love Gun, Alive 2, Dynasty, all exploding with killer riffs, anthemic choruses, and screaming solos that for 40 years have been filling arenas and stadiums around the world. Influence, simply put, Kiss is the band that made me and millions of others love rock and roll. Their influence is everywhere, from Metallica to Lady Gaga. Kiss have inspired thousands of artists of diverse genres, some of whom wow. may be on a Hall of Fame trajectory themselves. They've been a formative influence on members of Tool, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Slipknot, Garth Brooks, Pantera, Foo Fighters, Motley Crue, Lenny Kravitz, White Zombie, Soundgarden, Nine Inch Nails, and Rage Against the Machine. Making a good case, Kiss. Kiss. <laughs> We're done with this yet. Okay. Yeah, we don't watch the whole thing, Iraq. We should okay. just Peter Impact, and Ace. Impact, check. <laughs> Influence, check. And the final criteria? Awesomeness. Awesome. There's a simple test for that. What if you had never seen or heard Kiss before? What if you had never heard a note of their music, never viewed a YouTube clip, never seen a reality show featuring any of the members? And what if you wandered into a divey club in your hometown and saw Kiss in all their glory thrashing the place to the ground? One guy belching fire and spraying blood past his gargantuan tongue a drum riser bursting through the roof a guitar player so incredible his axe billowed smoke and shot rockets a front man flying back and forth across the joint like a superhero tarzan i would hate all that. of them in frightening <laughs> horror movie comic book superstar sexifying kabuki makeup all of them in black and silver warrior this bondage here in a seven good inch platform. I know. Here. You the know who wrote this? Up with Dick Cheney. <laughs> the siren, raining confetti. All to the pounding soundtrack of bare knuckle, badass, heavy duty, liberating rock and roll. What would you say if you saw that? You'd say that band's fucking awesome. It deserves <laughs> to be in the rock and roll hall of fame. That's what you'd say. <laughs> Good for him. Jesus. All right. That's the intro I want when I do the funny bone what? next week. I want to hug Tom Morello. That was great. Wasn't that fucking unbelievable? Wait, what you got yeah, to keep going now. We do? Yes, There's we more? committed. I don't know. That's got to be the end. I we committed. It. I want to hear. He's just going to hand him a Jim's kind of rubbing trophy. himself. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> this is garbage. Peter no. Chris is laughing at him now. I know. Look at Ace. Tonight, <laughs> we honor the fearsome foursome. The four original founding members of KISS. So I'm at their peak. The demon Gene Simmons. He's the god of thunder. He's <laughs> Dr. Love. He's Beatles-like bass on the bottom and a bat lizard Bella Lugosi on the top. The star child, Paul Stanley. The heart Backward picture, asshole rock and roll hall of fame. His vision, <laughs> talent, and dedication over four decades have made KISS the band it is today. 
the spaceman, Ace Freel. Has the biggest cock in the band. This is a chill. Does he really? Yeah. <laughs> I love Ace. I love my <laughs> first guitar that. hero. He designed the band's iconic logo it's and funny. placed unforgettable, timeless licks across their greatest records. And the cat. Would it be funny if he just said, and Peter Chris was there too? He's <laughs> <laughs> saying the biggest hit in the band's history. Yes. What, Beth? Yeah. Across their greatest records. And the cat, Peter Chris. Oh, yeah. Jungle rhythms, jazz, like Liza films, Minnelli. and the writer and singer of the band's <laughs> biggest hit, the world's first power ballad, Beth. Tonight proves beyond any shadow of a doubt that the high school bullies and the critics were mistaken. We KISS fans were right, so let's celebrate. I misspoke earlier when I said that tonight KISS enters the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's almost right. Because tonight, it's not the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Tonight, it's the Rock and Roll All Night and Party Every Day Hall of Fame. And so, without further ado, Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, Ace Freely, Peter a, Chris. That's, a, that's an introduction. That's yeah. pretty fucking yeah. cool. It's an introduction. Jealous. Right. This guy's got a clean six. He was really good, too. <laughs> 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 he uh, didn't tr stumble once. I would have tripped through that the whole time. And the, the space cat, right. wait, man, spaceman, I would have fucked it up. Yeah, the nervous. teleprompt is held. Yeah. Oh, but he was good though. Yeah, yeah he meant it. He's got the passion. No, exactly. Yeah. He, he definitely. Now he's meant like it. a respected dude, right, in the industry. Oh, oh my God, God, yeah. 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 God, yeah. I don't know. So what do you? I God, mean, yeah. I think he was being sincere. He absolutely was. I saw them when I was fourteen, and they peak. Where? Really? Oh, it destroyed my ears, and, <laughs> and that was it. Oh, it was great. Boston Garden? No, in uh, Rhode Island, Private Civic Center. Uh huh. I saw him <sighs> Boston Garden. Unbelievable. When they first came back with the makeup. What year was that? Oh, I saw him at that. That was that was after the ninety six. Ninety six. I went with Jeff Ross. That's about right. To Philadelphia, and I saw them in the. I have a big poster in my bedroom. Where I just came down now, from Madison Square Garden. It was a bus ad in the seventies. My dad took me to see Kiss. We got tickets in July for a December show. December, I think, 17th, I want to say. It might have been 78. I was about, uh, uh, maybe 79. I was, I was 10 or 9 or 10 years old. It was my first Man, concert. You got a great dad. He took me to see Kiss in the 70s. Yeah. I, wow. was, I, was, I, I want to see the Alive 2 tour. And that was in his music, obviously. No, 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 no. He liked the Village People. I don't know why. But, <laughs> he uh, brought you to the Village he People, did, too. He did. He took me to see them, too. <laughs> but Kiss, uh, we had way upper deck seats. I mean, it was just, it was, it was just, it was a weird, I, I don't remember it that much. I want to say Cheap Trick opened. Mm. But uh, I remember being the, I was a fucking star in the neighborhood because I was going to see Kiss. That's oh, wow. Cool. Uh, Casey did not write Come and Get Your Love, nor have a cover of it. So Good. We've updated that info. Boy, this is really white guys rocking out day. Nice. Yeah, I know, it kind of is. It's nice. Brad Wilk and uh, Morello, with, they were with uh, Maynard James and, uh, uh, and, and Billy Gould at Faith and Them to record Calling Dr. Love for the 94 Kiss My Ass. I did not realize that. It was billed as Shandy's Addiction. I remember that billing. I didn't know it was them. Why don't we play that into break? I don't want to get in trouble. Well, let's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we move on from Trump, Lou Holtz endorsed Trump yesterday. So he's got Bobby Knight and Lou Holtz. Right? Yes, and the only reason I mention that and is Sandusky, and they're gonna dig up Red <laughs> Red Owlbear. Lou Holtz is a mush mouth. Who's Lou Holtz? Lou Holtz, he's uh, 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 Rich Voss. <laughs> yeah, he's your coach, uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, listen to this. Great coach, though. That's finished jet dry with five power actions. Oh, is that? Okay. Love him. All right, let's play that. Greetings. I'm Lou Holtz, and I wholeheartedly endorse Donald Trump as the next president of the United States. Oh. There are nothing but winners it's in a Marine. Indiana. the Main reason I'm, I'm sure he's a wonderful man, but his I speech. I golf course. I stayed in this hotel. <laughs> He does nothing but go first class in everything. He huh. wants this country to be first class as well. Thank you for We're going to lose him soon. You can't see what he's wetting himself. Yeah, God bless Lou Holtz, <laughs> but I don't give a fuck about his endorsement. Yeah. Nice. No, I don't care who yeah, any college care. coach votes for. <laughs> he was, he was a, a Marine, though. He was uh, a I fucking was, Marine. Ooh, that was wonderful. Uh, but, uh, that he should have wrote it down. I would have preferred reading it than hearing him say it. I don't care who you are. This you, is a guy who hung out with Rich Ross his whole life. If you, if you endorse <laughs> anybody like that this. Boy, <laughs> oh, God. I enjoy I Donald Trump. Lou. I also enjoy eating pea soup. <laughs> he's, he's a legend. 
legend. I'm sure he's a, a legend. legend. I'm not saying he's not a great guy. I'm not saying he wasn't a great American. <laughs> I'm not saying he's not a great coach. But his fucking voice bugs me, and I don't want to hear it. But well, maybe he finally stopped at ESPN. Uh, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't uh, do it anymore. No, but they had him. The guys have got to be ninety, he's and he would there. be at seven in the morning to like seven at night. They had him out there. Let's make you sure know, in the last ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make sure he didn't get that voice from Fighting for Our Country. By the way. No. no. Oh, that? No, no. He's yelling at his wife. <laughs> no. <with> these... <laughs> Good old... Uh, Get in the kitchen and make me some muffins, you cunt. I'm going to punch Guy Sandusky in her face. <laughs> Is he getting a new trial, Sandusky? Oh, I thought you meant Lou Holtz. No, I didn't hear that. No. Is he? Santa, what are you kidding I me? hope so. He was falsely convicted. I think he's getting a new trial. He, he, he should. should. They were hard on him. He was enticed. He was enticed, huh? Yeah, they were wrestling. He's in tight. <laughs> <laughs> that was their fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to play uh, <laughs> Calling Dr. Love into break, and uh, Damien's here. Oh, great. Damien Lemon will be joining the show next. we got Nick DiPaolo, who's got a great podcast. Uh, where's ConnectPal.com slash Nick. Thank you, Nick. Anything else? Ah, whatever. All right, whatever. All right, Mark Norman. NickDip.com. You can get my tour dates. Okay, Thursday, Times Union Center in Albany, and Saturday, First Niagara Center in Buffalo. Oh, th those are all Schumer gigs. Oh, you don't, don't go need to a, those. Oh, you don't, don't need go to those. Promote. Come to my gigs. <laughs> I need you. She doesn't. <laughs> she hates you. But, you. but that's going to get a lot of, of of her fans liking you. It's a good thing for you to do. I guess. But, I haven't seen any yet. But she doesn't need uh, any help with her gigs. She, she's no. doing just fine. Let's, let's Come to Zany's in Nashville uh, next week, and then... Uh, uh, comedy mix in Vancouver the week after that. Okay. Lord knows I need you. And listen Nashville to my podcast. To Vancouver. Ooh. Yes. What's that? That's some traveling. Tuesdays. Yeah. Uh, Tuesdays uh, with stories. Tuesdays with stories on iTunes. With Joe List. It's a yes. very good podcast as well. And uh, and you're touring around with Amy Schumer a little bit when you're not doing your dates. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty I'm, cool. Clean it up out there. He was on Horace and Pete too. Yes, he was. We right. talked That's about right. how good he, was he was. Very good too. I saw Mark. One of Mark's scenes was really good. Yes. Ah, oh, thank you. I just played myself. And Jimmy. Baltimore this weekend. I think the Rams head. Rams head live. And um, I'm looking forward to that gig. And I'm also doing a Sat Fridays in Bethlehem, PA at the uh, event center of the Sands Casino. And uh, then at the end of the month is L.A. and Vegas. And more dates coming up. I finally have an overseas date booked. Really? I just found out yesterday. Yeah. Wow. No where? It's in, uh, it's in, well, I don't want to say, but um, it's, let's just say uh, there's been a civil war there recently, and I'm being brought in as the peacemaker. Uh-huh. Uh, Tanzania? And I'm going to Syria. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, Basad's a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing the uh, venue. <laughs> yeah. The blown out pit. <laughs> just a, it's always, is that the most depressing? Oh, just total shithole. Oh, yeah. God fucking help the people over there. I'm in Baltimore. No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, what we got, E-Rock, in a break? We got uh, Maynard. Who else on this on this song again? Tom Morello. Tom Morello. Huh? Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Joe Clark. <laughs> Jesus, that's all you need to do is give me the names of that. Jim Neighbors. All right. <laughs> oh, my papa. Damn <laughs> <laughs> it. What's up? What's up, brother? Damn, I just saw your uh, big billboard. Yeah. How cool is that? They gave you a big billboard. Out. Fuck, that's cool. That's cool. It's a New, York, really cool. New York native. He's, he's, yeah, on, the, yeah. he's on, on the subway train. wall. Looking at myself on the train. That shit is Has anybody recognized you looking at yourself in the subway? Has anybody recognized me? Has anybody me? seen you? Like, oh, that's the guy on the thing. People been, <laughs> that's the guy in the thing. Yeah, that's the guy. That, nah, people been hitting me, like, on Twitter and shit like that, but not in real life, in, like, in person. Yeah. You know what I mean? No one's like, are you? Oh, shit, you know. No, I'm waiting for that moment. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I'm definitely on the train with my shit. So people are like, damn, is that coming. Gerard Carmichael? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Did you, did you <laughs> take a picture of it? You got to take a picture of your own billboard. I got to take a picture next to that shit. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I got to get that done. I take a picture before they draw a dick yeah, on your poster. I know. Those I know. motherfuckers <laughs> in the subway. Yeah, yeah that's part of it. That's yeah. kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. That's when you yeah. know you're that's resonating. You're, that's right. They're like, okay, he, yeah, we fuck with him. Exactly. Nice. What part of the city are you from? I'm from Brooklyn originally. Brooklyn. I live uptown now. That's yeah. pretty exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. You shot that in, uh, in, in uh, was it 106? 106 in Park, in yeah. In Harlem. Yeah. Chris Chappelle shot his, right. uh, his uh, series, a great 
You know, it's had mostly successful things. Yeah. I yeah. shot my four Vice episodes there. Mostly successful things. Not all. Hey. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it down. Nah, you know, uh, I'm just, I have to be honest, it's a good building sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> they did 106 and Park there, too, the, the, you know, the BET shit. Everyone uh -huh. talks about that show. I don't think I've ever seen it. Nah. No. It's a big it was, hit. Get it was, with it, huh, Jimmy? Yeah. It was the Black TRL. Right. Oh, yeah. For, it was doing really good for a while. Mm -hmm. so what, ha what happened? Why did uh, it go away? What happened? I guess the shit just started bombing. Yeah. It, started, it was, yeah. It, it had its started, time. It had its time. Had it was over about a couple of years ago. They folded it. Right. Yeah, they had to get some, the hosts were kind of terrible. Like, they replaced some hosts and they weren't as good as, you know. The original guys. Plus, nobody watches videos like they used to anymore. It was a video right. show. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, too. That's the most honest assessment of why a show didn't work ever. The shit just started bombing. <laughs> <I> guess, <laughs> that's that's pretty much what happens. Oh, I hate watching a, a video now. I just want the song. It's so long. There was a time, though. It was, it was all right to watch the whole video. I don't and like the, the dumb storyline they would come up, come yeah, up with. Yeah, they were trying to be arty. Yeah. Oh, Pat Benatar. Remember? Or uh, Thriller started that, didn't it? What, yeah, what was one of them. That was the one where... Uh, it didn't start it, but it certainly put it through yeah. the fucking... Right. 90-minute video. Stratosphere, right. What was before that? Like, with with stories, I mean. I can't remember anyone had stories the before early, Thriller. The early... Oh, yeah. Paul McCartney and fucking Michael Jackson on the back of a pickup truck. Oh, that, that one really <laughs> was good. <laughs> Singing that fucking Sell, selling Unity. elixir. Yeah. Oh, right, selling elixir. Right. And then Wait, he took all his royalty money. Yeah. Yeah, then, what a dick. That's awkward. And and supposedly on that video, I think they were talking about it. Oh, like, really? Yeah. And then uh, and then Michael said, I'm buying say, this shit. Say, say, he say. The, he, bought the he bought the Beatles catalog. Yeah. 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 On the low. Yeah. He, yeah. He, well, that was fucked up, I guess. Yeah, it was wrong. Mm -hmm. Especially when McCartney said, here's what you do, and then Dummy didn't watch his own back. <laughs> right. <laughs> McCartney loves losing money. He doesn't get prenups. He fucking... He didn't get a prenup? No, why no. did he? He don't give a shit. A one-legged woman. Who's got a prenup, though? I, I, whoever has the balls to get a prenup, <laughs> you're a bad motherfucker to really... Yeah, you well, know, like, listen, I love I you, like honey, you, but uh, yeah. you got to sign this shit. Oh, oh, yeah. You're, you're a shallow just... cunt like every girl I did. <laughs> <laughs> but just... I don't know. It's good to do it because what's she going to do? No, I wasn't going to steal your money. She's kind of cornered, too. But that shows that shows how much money uh, Paul has that he didn't give a fuck. He still yeah. has oh, there he more is, money yeah. than he'll ever spend. Yeah, but he's living in a duplex now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a roommate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. with a roommate. <laughs> 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 oh, this video was awful. They, oh, I could... kind of liked it. It was a snappy tone. Oh, that shit looks terrible. Michael jumps out fucking Jumps behind a tree with that dumb cap on. Oh man, oh, I was terrible. Is that Patrice driving? <laughs> <laughs> They're all happy young and Patrice? clapping. This is what happens when two icons want to do a video and yeah. no one around them will go. This is fucking yeah, awful. Right. Still bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bunch of yes men around them. Oh yeah, oh it's great. Yeah, the, the kids will run after you for the elixir. Yeah, I Mike, love it. That's how they got Michael to do it. It's gonna be a bunch Mike. of kids on the set. <laughs> it's a strip club for Mike. Yeah. <laughs> McCartney's like he's insisting. <laughs> <laughs> this we didn't want children. He's insisting. Doesn't, doesn't, make, doesn't make sense with the storyline. This is the same set as Safety Dance. Yeah, it looks... Uh, oh, oh, look following. at this. Just having fun. That's how I used to dress on stage. <laughs> He's wearing a blue cap. This fucking is terrible. Yeah. yeah. You sure? I thought it was a very... What's going on? What, what's going on with Prince's money? It's getting crazy. Oh, uh, please, that's yeah. just starting. That'll oh, be hilarious. Wow. Read that family history. <laughs> so it was AIDS. I told you it was AIDS. Wait, what are you doing? Yeah, it was AIDS. I said that kidding. kidding. Was yeah. it confirmed? I said it kidding on stage. I'm no. telling you, it's AIDS. No, the National Enquirer <laughs> kind of hinted at it, but no one oh, really trust said me. it. They hinted credible. at it. They said Prince died of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Big block letters on the cover. No one else is going with it though. Only the National Enquirer. So I'm going with it. What's that? A wild fucking? What's yeah, that a long shot? He loved right. the he loved the Percocet. We know that. Did yeah. he, uh, was he gay or bisexual? I didn't know. He was everything. He was fluid. They, oh, yeah, he was right. fluid. He fluid. had his ass out oh. in public. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that exactly. That says a lot when you got your cheeks in the world. <laughs> right. He just caught AIDS know. for through the wind. But now yeah. another half siblings coming forward. Oh yeah, this wow. guy, it's gonna be. They luckily they already burned his body. I mean, he'd be in the garage under a tarp for the next two years, like James Brown. <laughs> People <laughs> fighting over his shit. But you know what? Noam said he used to go into the fat black pussy cat and then nobody could touch his food he would cover it with this with like plastic all of he was very particular so i thought like, this guy's a dick mm -hmm. but it makes sense if he was hiv positive and worried about well he wasn't cold. back then no mm -hmm. they said in the 90s he learned that's what i heard that he learned in the 90s this was recently in the last few years right he oh you mean that he was in a black pussy and didn't want anybody touching his food so i'm like was he, he worried was about getting a, a cold 
Mm. You know what I mean? Right. That's the, you, start, you probably start to become a germaphobe right. when your immune system is yeah. fucked. Of That's course. just a guess, but... Yeah, but then he's, you know... I don't know. Let's call Rick Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they want to just release all, all right. the... All this, all, all this music that Prince was protecting. Now they just want to get get it the fuck out. He's a vault and, man with and like start making money. He's got off a vault it. with like fucking tons of shit. Tons of shit. Tons. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. The best part hopefully. of the story. Payday, hopefully, it yeah. might be some bullshit. It yeah. might stay in. The, yeah, yeah, that's true. The best part of the story is all the women coming forward going, "I got his love child, man." Oh, is that one, right? One, one love child, and that 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 kid gets everything. Uh, mm. Little baby show up so with a mustache be and a ruffled by shirt. <laughs> so, so they're rushing. They're rushing forward to get their. Kids tested. Are wow. they really? Yes. Anyone that Prince fucked is from 1985. Yeah, fucking, yeah. yeah. That's you a got, long line. You got long swab. lost sisters coming forward. How many died? Uh, it's crazy what's happening here. But oh, it's yes, gonna get nuts. Someone said no, man. I'm pretty confident this is uh, Prince's kid, and they're trying to get get some testing done immediately. Immediately yep. on it. So the kid would get everything, right? I think so. That's one of his kids on the right, isn't it? <laughs> the visual. Who or is works that? on radio. It's his son Kevin. <laughs> funny, <laughs> funny as fuck, but God, he was a slight little man. He's a sleight of frame man. Yeah. <laughs> what is he? Five six? Yeah. No, not even. Oh, it was no, five four. Five. Wow. Oh. I think even less than that. Even I'm ta I thought like five four or five two. I, I just heard read five it. two. I yeah. think Boy, five two. Pussy, though. Did, Stayed fuck. He fucked the best looking girls ever. Word. Word. Yeah. Those those girls in his video. I used to fucking oh, eighties. Yeah. I was yanking oh. it around the clock to those fucking. Oh yeah. Even Sheila E. And yeah. he banged a Carmen Electra. What's wrong with Sheila E? Nothing. Yeah. Why'd you say even though? Like she was a. Uh, well, they those. She yeah. was pretty hot. That Sheila E. E Rock. What were you saying? No. Why didn't you hear what you said? I just heard a, I heard a voice. It sounded in, uh, uninformed, but what was it? I thought he said because he wanted to bang her. Oh. Chili. Okay. Oh, all right. You wouldn't bang Chili? I wouldn't. Oh, okay. Who's Chili? We're talking like Chili was whack. Chili yeah. looked good. Yeah, she was a good looking one. Yeah. A pick of Chili. I guess I said it. that because I think well, I was going to say she was <laughs> considered an older woman in the 80s, but she really oh, wasn't. Jesus, was it? No. Huh? I was, well, I was like 24. Is that her? Right. Oh, yeah, that's oh, fun. Yeah, yeah no, she was lovely. Taste. What was her big song? She had a, a couple ah, of them, I guess. Holly Rock. Princess Come. I, uh, what was I just going? <laughs> Princess Come. Uh, what she was that? Holly the Rock. Glamorous Life. Glamorous Life. Glamorous yeah. Life. Yes. That was it. That was the yeah. shit. Yeah. How does that go? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She, she loved to play. Oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know she that loved one. to play the drum. Remember? Yeah. yeah, she used to throw the sticks in the air and all of that fly shit. Yeah, all that she, fly was shit. she was dope. She was. Yeah. She's she was a dope. band leader for Magic Johnson. Oh she wow! She band leader for Magic uh -huh. Johnson. Now That's the right. That's, That's where it all happened. We found the link. There we go. Yeah. Patient uh -huh. zero. Oh. <laughs> Yes. I kid, of course. Oh, there that, we go. That, that she played keyboards with Manute Bowles band. Fucking show. Wow. The glamorous life. <laughs> yeah, wait for... Uh, Did she really this. fucking play with Magic's band leader? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Piece of, rock. Rock. Oh, yeah. Piece of ass. Two million hits. Yeah. I think Chris might have wrote this. Really? Yeah. He wrote Manic Monday for the Bengals because yeah. wow. he was trying to fuck the, and he wrote, fuck the lead singers. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. 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 And uh, what else? What was the other Nothing one I fucking loved? Nothing compares to you. Yes. Nothing compares to you. He wrote that? Yes. yes. That's a great yes. song. Yes. That's his he was song. a beast. He, yeah, he's in it. Although her, Sinead's version is better than his. I don't like I his agree. version as much. Yeah, but he wrote it. That yes. was good. Yeah. Yeah. He also fucked Stevie Nicks. Did he? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. No, I don't like that shit. I didn't know that. Went too far. That's too far for you. Uh, wait a minute. I don't mind them sharing music and TV shows, but what the fuck? Well, that's the end of the Prince discussion. <laughs> no, I fucking love Prince. I, first Water Fountains, now this. Oh, uh, the Love Child video. Let's play that. So this kid I didn't is... know he wrote Manic Monday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Manic Jesus, Manic a ton of shit. He, he gave a hit to a girl because he wanted to stick his dick in her. You well, got to respect that. That's impressive. I think Whoa. it was just a friendship thing, Jimmy. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> it's platonic. Here's the man claiming to be Prince's secret son. Once really? DNA test immediately. Yes, before probably, you start dishing out that probably money. Probably looks like Dick Van Patten. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be people Prince coming out of the fucking woodworks. <laughs> Inside edition, though. son who could now inherit his entire $300 million <laughs> <laughs> estate. See <laughs> <laughs> son. Angel call us. He's ready. Sand looks like a motherfucker. He does look like a... Oh, my God. I 
wasn't far scary. off. That's got to be a shit. joke. How about yeah. the Temple of Grayskull That's, on the left? Yeah, look oh, at her. Shit. <laughs> Jeez, Jesus. Hold on. Well, now, why is, why is Getty Lee and this older guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking lawyer, right? It has to be. Come on. The, the, the oh, who's the WFP lawyer? kid looks more like Prince. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? <laughs> That's the se- He looked like a secret kid, too, behind right. the fucking curtain. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the tar- oh. <laughs> Air Hunters. Those guys own Air Hunters International. Okay, that's not the guy. Oh, oh all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh let's, let's hear this shit. Strong. Oh. Did Prince have a secret son who could now inherit his entire $300 million estate? We had an individual call us. He was raised in the Midwest. He had a very credible story. John Hilbert and Char Mansakani are owners of Air Hunters International, a Los Angeles company that searches for heirs who don't know they have inherited a fortune. Wow. They say they were it's contacted a by a man I making know, a I startling did. claim that Prince is his biological father. He does not want any publicity. He said, would you please... Tell me the procedure for proving my paternity. The unidentified man is from Prince's home state of Minnesota. He says he was Prince's love child, born after a fling the singer had with his mother back in the mid '80s. That's a hell that of a That would time. make him about 30 yeah. years Doesn't old. Doesn't really go, does it? No, it don't. So this comes as Prince's sister Tyka <laughs> Nelson and four of his five half siblings appeared in court Monday. Oh, the emperor from Star Wars. Out the fast <laughs> you see that present- thing? <laughs> Where's the kid? I don't know if they're going to show the kid. Split he doesn't want a publicity. million dollars because Prince did not leave a will. But if Prince did have a secret child, attorney Bruce Givner says Jeez. everything changes. Jesus Christ, <laughs> if the long lost love like child Tilda claim Swinton. is proven, <laughs> that looks like he opened the ark a little bit in Indiana state. Jones. <laughs> the man who claims to be Prince's son says he is willing to take a DNA test. Of course test. you are. He's very concerned on, that on the line. whatever the test results were, the effect it would have on his immediate family at this time, and things of that nature, which. Is, is completely different from the nut the nuts that you know <laughs> want to be his child. You can play wow. ten, 10 instruments. We were talking about this yesterday, though. A guy Twenty-seven, who, wasn't it? A guy who protected his music so closely doesn't have a will. Just mm. for the just for the music it must angle, be a Jehovah alone. Witness Maybe thing. Jehovah Witness thing, ah. yeah. oh, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What a genius fight he, for it. That, Maybe that's it. Cause yeah. He's a genius, but if he got if if he was HIV positive and he thought that prayer would cure him, mm. then he wasn't a genius. Well, no, he's a musical genius. Huh? Yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. The rest of it, a real dope. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that that fucking. Did you see that tribute they did that SNL tribute? He, no, this I didn't song, watch it. No Fury Like a Woman Scorn. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh my god! I, I knew he was good on the guitar. Mm. I'm like, what the fuck? I got watch. I heard it once, and I had to watch it like on the internet. Like Did you see him doing while oh. my guitar gently weeps? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Fuck. Fuck. I didn't know. I never recognized him as that great of a guitarist. I know. Oh, I know he amazing. was a great unbelievable. Musician. What? Go, go great. that. Uh, yeah. No. Do you hear Purple Rain? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the one where he blows Let's Tom Petty off the stage? Huh? There's a there's a video where he blows Tom Petty off the stage. No, who are they watching? Is that while my that? Gu- oh, I forgot. Oh. was that the while my guitar gently weeps? Is that it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was somebody else was on stage. But yeah. All too. of a sudden, he took over and he just. Uh, you, you, if you could go to the guitar work in while my guitar while my guitar gently weeps later not, on in the song, yeah. it is pretty amazing. What a fury. Was it Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? <laughs> uh, it was one of those super. It was something like Travis. Travis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This, uh, yeah. this is it. Yeah. It was Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Travis okay. is saying yes back there, and he's always right. All right. It makes me sick. Yeah, it was Prince Tom, Tom Petty, Steve Winwood, Jeff Lynn, and others, and he just blew it away. You know, Iraq, you, you're sighing back there, and I definitely get it, because I get annoyed at having to wait, but it, it shows me how impatient we've all gotten. Yeah, it's like right? you just have to sit through five minutes of commercials. Everything's free now, and if it's a 15-second commercial, I literally want to throw something out the you window. Wanna, you want to yeah. bite something. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, this porn. video only has 26 <laughs> million, million views. Oh, Jesus, my God. Age. That's Christ. a lot. What do you mean? Go to weird. Prince. I'm looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Please. a little later on, and then he, he just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> he just says, watch what I could fucking do. Uh, I want to see the Fury one. Thank you. No, oh. we'll, we'll play that, too. I guess, how do you stand out when you're with Michael Jackson and James Brown? Right. You've got to do shoulders. something, yeah. That's unbelievable. And he was on the front. That was the weird part. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No Fury like a woman scorn. It's a fucking... Oh, we got to see that, too. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to do it now. I'm just... No, we'll do it. 1983. No, I want the latest version. Yes, and Albert. No, this is this uh, is the Michael Jackson James oh, yeah, Brown yeah. thing. Now all of them are dead. Yeah, right. They are all three. No, oh. they didn't eat good. AIDS. <laughs> it's all AIDS. 
I think at Lucky the end passes. is where he gets on the dude's back. When he... <laughs> Jesus, Nick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this guy can play a cock, can he? Uh, <laughs> that was a hell of a swallow. <laughs> and I'm fucking chewing wow. into the mic. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I told the crowd in Grand Rapids, he, yeah. he died when I was out there. I come out the next night, I go, he fucking choked on a Mentos? Did you guys? I go, they just said it on the news. It was a fucking Mentos. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know what to do. <laughs> the crowd, some people were giggling. <laughs> Ah, uh, where is Who he? Who choked on a mento? I said Prant Prince choked on a mento. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the audience said. That was and great. the audience didn't, it just happened. They didn't know what to believe. Yeah, I choked on a Ah, we're having a tough that, time finding this. We can't uh, find it. Don't worry about it. I see that at the beginning. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There you go, there you go. There you go. Right Hulk dudes. Hogan's back. Is that Hulk Hogan? He is I, dead. I, damn. Yeah, all those I think guys they all die early. What did he die of? Well, he touched Prince. AIDS. I'm going to guess heart trouble. We'll go with yeah. the heart attack. Either that well, heart. you know, you juice for, for 20 years. Let's go heart attack on that one. Like oh. Big Boss Man. He it's died in 95. Oh, uh, uh, cancer. Looks John like Stride. some chemotherapy. I see in the third paragraph. Yeah, you do enough roids. He went to a doctor. Tumor. Tumor in his chest. Uh, remitted after chemo. Underwent an audio, uh, audio transplantation procedure. Uh, wow, it was a 7% success, success rate. Success rate. Yeah. Tumor uh, remitted. He went home. Uh, Wait a minute. Before. My name is lung collapse. I love his roles. Huge Hood, oh, Igor, Psycho, Jack saying. Daniels, Big Man. Get a temperature of 108. Jesus. Wow. Auto transplantation. That's Somewhere in, uh, right now. died in 95, I guess, right? No, well, Big John stud. Well, he'll be missed. You hear about Hulk Hogan <laughs> is suing Gawker again? Awesome. <laughs> Stick it to those. <laughs> really? Yes. yes. Back to what? Back. What now? Wow. Releasing the racist, Releasing the racist rat. He's, He's like, I'm not millions. done with you fucking Good for guys. him. Hey. Fuck them. Good for him. I'm not done with you fucks yet. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's Fuck going him. back in. Hulk Hogan is now suing Gawker for allegedly <laughs> leaking his racist uh, conversation audio. Yeah. How much does he want for that one? I don't know, but I hope I hope he breaks their backs um, and then privacy is finally respected to a certain degree and these sites don't just put stuff up anymore. Yeah, yeah. it'd be nice. Yeah, it's gonna be That's why I watch my tongue. But you know what I mean? It's like you can't you can't go through life wondering if you're being taped in everybody's home, right? And it's going to be released. And all these videos of people that are released uh, of them doing private things and saying private things. Right. Whether it's Michael Phelps smoking a bong, you know, it's a little harder to claim privacy when you're at a party. But yeah, still, you don't have to post it. It's just vulturish, and it's so nice to see them really taking a beating. Right. They're going to appeal, but. I disagree. If somebody's smoking marijuana, I want to know about it. You know what? You're right. That was a poor example on my part. Because then what's next? I don't care where it is. No, you know that what? That shit's dangerous. Nick raises a good point. I'll amend my prior statement unless drugs are involved. And I don't the for that. The cockiness of Gawker, it says in the article, uh, Gawker editor A.J. Delario yeah, tweeted to Hogan XOXOXO wow. with a link to the end, uh, the Inquirer posting the uh, that included the, uh, the transcript of... Uh, of what was going on. Yeah, AJ Delaria seems really arrogant. Yeah. He seems like a really arrogant guy. Right. Um, you know, and it's like, well, I, I think he's only, I think I'm going to say it was 100000 he was found liable for personally. That's it? Oh, okay, um, that's what it is. Well, he's an editor working for them. I, I mean, I, I, cause they, he, they, they fucked uh, Gawker and they fucked Nick Denton personally. Right. And they fucked AJ Delaria personally. Who's right. Nick Denton? That's the, he's the owner of, he's the CEO of Doug Gawker, the, uh, the guy who okay. started it. Right. Um, you know, as much as Jezebel talks about feminism and all these things, it's like it's funny how you never talk about your parent company. Mm. They never go after Gawker, who's the parent company. Right. Um, they respond to this getting ridiculous. He's a litigious celebrity abusing the court system, right, to control his public no, no. image. Bullshit. As we've said before and are happy to say, Gawker did not leak the information. It's time for Hulk to take responsibility for his own words because only one person got Hulk Hogan fired, and that's Hulk Hogan. Ooh. <laughs> um, cool. Cool. That's hacky and only response. one and only and only one uh, and only one organization uh, decided to fucking put up a video right. they shouldn't have. And those are people are Gawker. Right. Good. Take it in the ass. Yeah. Oh. Take it in the yeah. ass for all. What, there's a hundred and something million? Yeah, uh, 150. Wow. Yeah, 150 total. Big. Yeah, he, he killed them. He'll never get all that. Like nah. Aaron Andrews settled with Marriott right. for something. Doesn't matter, though. Yeah, it's the precedent. Yeah, yeah. Gawker's already appealing, and the new suit is for unspecified money damage. Oof, good. Because that shit could fold them. They could be done. Yeah. They can't afford yeah. that. That's yeah. what it said in the article. He's yeah. a litigious celebrity. Yeah, but he, he's a guy who I doesn't know. like us <laughs> uh, ruining his personal life. He's a guy who didn't who resented us uh, being the fucking, being the parasites that we are. He's a guy who resented parasites. What a mm. litigious celebrity. <laughs> yeah. Good That's for him. That's lawyer speak. Yeah.
I mean, then again, what are they going to say? We're happy for Hulk. Congratulations. <laughs> boy, boy, he's kicking our ass. Yeah. Yeah, oh, boy, Hulk. Good luck in the next one, pal. Yeah. We look forward to this. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're all big fans. Look forward to seeing him in court. <laughs> I guess they have no choice but to respond like that. Sure. And the guys are telling me we got to uh, check out this video of the high school student arrested after indecent photo gets printed. Uh, Paul, you that? like this one a lot, huh? We're not going to see the SNL video? What's we're we're going to get there. We're mixing oh, up right. the prints a little no, that's bit. That's so right. what happened what is We're it? mixing up the prints a little bit. I don't know. Let's find out. I see something looking crazy. Wait a minute. Are they doing this now where they start the video for a second and then go in the commercial? Probably. Yeah, get smart you, Probably. Move. That is smart. They're getting smart the way they're catching they us out there. They're to get that money. Yeah. I love how they put a pre-roll like on a murder video. <laughs> yes. Right. Right. Shot right. by the cops. Like, well, hold on. Let's yeah. hear from Life Slow. Yeah, I know. Like, oh, it's a little tasteless. Yeah, they're they're for Band-Aids. Let's get this money. <laughs> Let's get this money. <laughs> Uh, drivers swerving to avoid mattress. For all the wrong oh, okay. reasons, tonight a Valley teen's stunt could affect his future <laughs> Dick for years. It might have seemed funny at the time, <laughs> he but He looks like a wise ass. He does. Weisenheimer. NBC 15's Navita Fergani is live at Red Mountain High School in Mason, Navita. This picture could lead to some serious consequences. Tell us what you learned today. It's going to be on your permanent record. <laughs> oh, she's wearing purple. I yeah. bet that's a Prince tribute. Probably. <laughs> Dearly beloved. Oh, that's exa exactly right. <laughs> Depending on what happens in court, how did Stephanie, you fuck on? She fucked up immediately. Yeah. That's exactly. How do you fuck up the <laughs> second word when this is your uh, job? Uh, Can we hear that again, please? Let's hear the lady got her name right. Show the guy who was supposed to get her job crying on the set. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's exa exactly Boo! right. Uh, uh, fucking uh, four, Gani. You had one poor, job. Poor exactly. Lady. That's like a you picture can, hitting a bad on, on, on Twitter at fucking tongue tied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All she has to do is set up the video. Oh, uh, the video. Ten lousy Oh, you oh, stink. She's you terrible. Ah, la, 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 la. Well, that's exa exactly right, depending on what happens. Oh, oh. Tom Morello did a 45-minute kiss induction in front of 17,000 people exactly. that didn't fuck one word up. Not, not she one couldn't stumble. get exactly out. What happens in court, Stephanie, this student could have to register as a sex offender for the rest what? of his what? life. Well, consequence so. he wasn't thinking about when this photo Big was snapped deal. right here on the football field. What was she that? looking at the photo? Was she just Flipping through the that pages, yeah. continuing yeah. back in time. She's out to memories for the rest of our Is he our moving? I'm guessing he's moving. Yeah. Yeah. It's his dick. It's his dick. It's his dick. Oh. Oh. This was just, there is one. just good fun. This was good yeah. fun when we were growing up. And now you got to be a sex offender. Well, naturally. Now you got to register as a sex offender. Well, let's see how big it is. Yeah, we need a size count. <laughs> All right, let's see this. One snapshot that will haunt Hunter Osborne for the rest of his life. <laughs> 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 he always posed with his dick out. You know what? Fuck Hunter. It's like, like, like a young mogul. Exactly. Hunter Osborne. I took my dick out. He looks like Let me <laughs> guess who's offended. The world of beast on the left. Take you back in time. These are memories for the rest of our our high school. Oh, the high school uh, years. But there is one. Shut up. You can handle a dick pic. Well, wait. That's was gross. that an edited commentary by this kid? Like, you don't know what else he right. might have been. He might have been going, look, uh, we think it's funny. I mean, yeah, right. this is a thing for our memories, but we laughed. Let's right, see what right. he says. Exactly. They might have edited. shot that will haunt Hunter Osborne for the rest like of his life. That's a picture that's going to haunt him. He looks like a yeah, hunter, though. That fucking neck that. Hunter, number 42 on the Red Mountain High School <laughs> football team. He is a kind of a jokester kid. His friends Joke. just That'd be get great. him into dick continued on page 12. And that's exactly what Hunter says happened the day this picture was taken. He told investigators <laughs> a teammate dared him to expose himself as a prank. You look at the photo, it's really hard to even, like, see. But it still backfired. Oh, oh, he oh, he 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 so so that's that why he's suing. It. It's a little blurry. <laughs> The hunt for He's Hunter's like, I studied day. it for two days. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong. What, what they should have, what Hunter should have said, mm -hmm. was it's a fake dick. It's not mine. Oh. He should have said I was hanging a fake. Penis. Sounds like yeah, you've had some experience prostate. in this, Jimmy. Yeah. I'm only saying on the football. I've taken many photos with my quote unquote cock out. And uh -huh. It's always fake. It's always a fake. One. Always smart. So, yeah, Jackie Charles. Facing 69 misdemeanor counts of indecent what? exposure and one felony count 69? of providing a obscene a material yeah, right. to a minor. To he's a minor. Gonna, yeah, that's that's why I tell you why. First of all, he can't get. Uh, he didn't provide obscene material because he's not the editor of the yearbook. Uh, he didn't choose the photo. Right. He didn't overlook that. It'll be all right. He will. Please, hey, he didn't distribute anything to a minor. 
But thank Lincoln, you, Mr. Mr. Thank touchy. you, Mr. Shapiro. Uh, well, you learn these things. <laughs> Can we, I noticed you. I, I didn't text you that. I just told her the password to the email. She looked. <laughs> does it, why, why does everything have to go down this road? Can't you oh, just look at prank. it and go, he's just being a silly fucking goose? Because we goose. live in a fucking yeah. oversensitive, oh, Christ. We have no faggotized problems. world. No, I think it's appropriate. You oh, know, you can't go. Sh- I disagree. I think you showing your penis should be a penalty. Let me ask you a question. 69 uh, misdemeanor accounts? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's a lot insane. of accounts. Maybe 70 if he's lucky. So there's 69 people pissed? There's a, you know, what if it was a female cheerleader and her tit was hanging out? She did that for fun. Oh, I hope would, she'd be in trouble too, Nick. Would she? I hope Throw so. Throw the book at her. That's vulgar. Throw the book at her. I don't go for that. All right, let's... Uh, Still me. backfired. Hunter is now facing 69 <laughs> misdemeanor counts of indecent exposure and Jeez. one felony count of providing felony. obscene material to a it's minor. About attacking we men, took our period. cameras to Hunter's home. No said. one answered the door, and while he may Why not want to defend his yeah, actions... Hunter is definitely a character. <laughs> This kid's great. Yeah. Have Love his this back. kid. Everybody has one thing or more that they do in life that they wish they hadn't. Yeah, he, he <laughs> just took his dick out in front of a bunch of people. I mean, big deal, man. <laughs> yeah, right. We all have something we do. Some of us will throw a pie at somebody. He pulled his dick out, let it be photographed and given out to children. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to have a pretty nice piece if he's going to do that on a you you hope so. book. Yeah. You got to well, think it's funny it if he don't. Bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. A little guy. If I had a giant cog, I would be out all the time. Of course, Absolutely. all the fucking at the mall and shit. Just yes, playground. Yeah. Pretending you didn't know your flies open, you, the bullet <laughs> right. holes. And, right. <laughs> hang yeah. stuff from White it. White bathing suit, no lining. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Stand yeah. up, yawn <laughs> real big. Yeah. You're at the public pool and fishnets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'd never see me with fucking. It's winter time. I'm shoveling. You think you think I nylons on? Fucking out. Outline down on my knees. To have his life ruined for this like one small thing. Like a fishing law. And he is not the only this is him one. Tackling not somebody. the only one. Actually, a, a, a petition has <laughs> been set up to free Hunter. That That's on change.org. So many people have said about the situation, it. even emailing me, asking me why. The teacher that uh, supervises the yearbook, even the students and the photographer, why aren't they being held accountable Absolutely. for not catching this before it was printed on 3,400 yearbooks? <laughs> I reached oh, out wow. to the school district. Hey, kids school legend. district they they tell me that they are investigating. <laughs> All the procedures, and they're going to try to find any loopholes to make sure this doesn't happen. He again. did not he any did, loopholes. He didn't do anything wrong. He'll Dick be a, holes too. He'll it's, be all right in the end. He'll get a good lawyer. He did not fucking distribute nope. this at all. No, no. They're, they're throwing everything at him, and then they'll you should re- defend them, Jimmy. It's like that porno they'll where the girl the charges. where the girl wasn't old enough. They had to pull them all back. Tracy Lords. Tracy Lords. Yeah. Yeah. Right. She was dating uh, Tom Byron. Like a recall, then. like an airbag. Yeah, like Firestone, <laughs> like a defective air. New way hookers was the big move. Anybody remember New Wave Hookers? I do. Pull I it remember up. The, I remember the title more than I remember that. That was the one with uh, Tracy Lord. Well, she, she was in a bunch, but that was the that was the big one. Okay. And uh, then she when she finally was 18, she came back and did one called, I think, Tracy, I Love You, is it called? That was a legal right. one. Mm. Okay. You you can't New Wave Hookers is still on. Look at this. Oh, shit. Uh-uh. Wait, you can... X video. I know, mean, but there might be others, oh! other... Oh, Jesus. Other people. No They're not going to see there. Tracy. You're not going to see her. Look at, look at the black dude. Yeah, I don't know. Who's that? Looking like James Baldwin. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. That's a nice uh, hacky sack there. Wait, is that the guy? Is that the That's guy? That's back when they used to make love in porno. Yeah, man, storylines. Yeah, I love exactly. those days. Casino of Lust. Where did she go? That? No, I saw that a spoof already, already on Prince. With Heather Hunter and shit like that. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah, that was. Mm. I love Missy they spoof days. Prince already saw a porn. Purple Vein. Did you see? <laughs> 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 Uh, oh man! See. Wow! Damn, Tracy. Yeah, I guess we can't really. Oh, wow. Let me see a picture of her. Yeah. Who's that? Who's she God right there? Damn. Feel terrible. Is she Jesus. supposed to be young right there? Because I don't want to get all. She away. was fifteen or uh, so. That's, uh, she's supposed to be older. <laughs> yeah, right. But she <laughs> was fifteen like the, right there. Let me ask you a about question. That. Let me ask you a question. She looked fifteen. Yeah. yeah. She, I don't know. I had those hint men. <laughs> we had her in here. She's Did, cool. Is that right? Yeah. Tracy's cool. Still sexy too, man. <laughs> a few years Holy back, she came in here. Hot she must. She the whole business. Nobody knew. I mean, and, and yeah. Right. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Nora Kuzma. That's her real name. Wow. Well, it ain't Peter. Yeah. <laughs> That's her nickname. <laughs> That's her profession. Yeah. It's wow. Prof- she just shut down this show. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, she oh just boy. Shut down oh man. Damn, look show. at that. You... I've seen this one. <laughs> that was a hell of a. This position. is a great one. This <laughs> got her in a full <laughs> Nelson fly. This is a great. That's um, realitykings.com. Yeah. Sarah Barrington. Wow. What the 
<laughs> is that real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a little punishment. <laughs> oh, yeah, the smack in the face. The... Looks like the Keystone Cops. They got it in a small package. <laughs> Keystone Cops. Yeah, she's tiny. They yeah. pick her up and shit. Look at that. That's how they edited that fucking shit. It is amazing All how right. these, like, how do you keep your dick hard? Like, like literally the girls in her, in her anal I know. bouncing. Yeah. How do your dick stay hard like that where there's a crew and there's not a sexy vibe on a set at all? No. Nah. I'm going to pop a Viagra. That doesn't matter. So. What? No. Not a Viagra with people watching and the guy going, come on, come on more. All right, a couple more minutes, a couple more minutes. That's what they do. It's not, that's why you hear oh, music. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. You were on the set once, right, Jimmy? I've been on a few, yeah. I've, yeah. I've seen Belladonna shoot, uh, it, Jenna Jameson. Is it sexy wow. at all when you're there? Or you is know, it all just fucking, uh, let's get down to business? Belladonna's right. Belladonna's was sexy because it was really? her husband shooting back uh, years okay. ago. Do they do, two girls. Do they do pickups and shit like a sitcom? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Eric, how about, you not, how about you not play child porn on our show? I'm not. Uh, she's underage. Child I, I don't, porn? I don't feel, I don't feel like dealing with that shit. Hey, wait just, a minute just, now. Don't yell at Eric. Be careful, you crazy? We find your situation. You can, you can. Eric, you feel free to explore anything. You're still trying to find it. It's a dangerous situation. Oh, wow. Look at this. And it's telling you clearly. Send me the link. Don't Send find, me the link. Your IP address is being recorded right, exactly. now. Exactly. Oh, she's on Married with Children. How about that? Oh, I remember that. I saw that one. Right. That was a terrific. Speaking of boners, I'm having this thing where I can't get a boner if I like the girl. Oh, Do you I know? have this. Yeah, I've had that since fucking 1984. Yeah. I was gonna <laughs> say. What are you trying to tell us? You're healthy? Yeah. Oh, is that normal? All right. <laughs> All right. I feel better. You're in love. No. What is that really about? What do you, what do I don't know if marriage I, is about. If I don't care about the girl, if I'm just a one night thing, I'm up my heart all day. But if I like her, uh, uh, it, nothing. It's Madonna it's that whore. Commitment. You scared? I guess so. You know, stick your dick into some commitment. Right. Be trapped again. Maybe. You that's what it is. It's also a risk. I almost like, said something that cost me my marriage. Go ahead. Uh -oh. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, boy. I want to hear it now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk about that shit later. <laughs> it's also a risk. If I like the girl and I don't fuck her well, it's going to mean something. Yeah. Then you're like, ah. Yeah. Uh, oh, interesting. Wait, if you like, if you fuck her raw, if you hit her with some bullshit, or if then? it's not good, or if, if, if there's a bigger implication, like I care what she thinks. But performance if anxiety. Performance anxiety. Yeah, yeah. If I'm being jerked off by a, a fucking massage therapist or a stranger, I don't give a fuck. I know that it's a transaction. But that's or a, the key right. word, stranger. Yes. The, the more strange the person, that's what we find. Hot. Exactly. Right. When you fuck somebody you met an hour ago, oh, it's going to be best. way more exciting, even if you yeah. knew the girl for two weeks. Yeah, yeah like of course. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the shorter the time, the duration, the harder the day. Yes, exactly. Correctly That's good math. Oh, wow. Oh, boy, look at those. Yeah. All right, all right. Al Bundy at the dentist. <laughs> look at a face on Bundy. <laughs> he is so good, Ed O'Neill. Yeah. He's coming in here soon. Is he? Oh, yeah, we got better. him. That's dope. It's about 88. Oh, it's just a soak of the blood. Nurse, this dentist, he's like a... A real good one, right? Don't worry, Mr. Bundy. Dude, the Ed Two Tall Jones is just wonderful. You could never have a show <laughs> like this now. Yeah, no, 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 I'm saying the dentist, the dentist? I think is Ed Two Tall Jones or some <laughs> Are you shit. Like that. I think or somebody <laughs> super big. Oh no, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was. Oh, that's Kevin Two Tall Jones. You could, he <laughs> couldn't have been wronger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wide right. That would have been the fucking best. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's uh, you're a little off on that one. He's been on there, though. I'm pretty sure. Has he really? On the show. That's yeah, fucking Chicago, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sure he was uh, Why don't we do this? Why don't we take a break? We got Damien uh, Lemon in studio for Holy the first shit. time. Yeah. From Comedy Knockout Thursdays at 10.30 on True TV. Has it started yet or is it just coming It started out? on the 21st. So okay. It was two weeks in. Yeah. How's it going? It's going well. It's been good. Yeah, it's been going well. It's been getting some, some response and shit. It got good, res uh, very good response. I, of course, I was in an episode. It was delightful, as was uh, Kurt Metzger. Yeah. Uh, was it in Leonard Oots? Leonard Oots. Oots was very funny. There. Yamanika was on there. Funny. Sherrod Small. Right. Uh, I was on Sherrod's episode. Right, right, right. That was that was shit. That might have been the best episode. That was a really good ass episode. Oh, thank you. Nice. A lot of people on there. Uh, Sean Patton, Noah Garden Schwartz, uh, Traeger, Traeger's on the episode. Jamie Lee, uh, Kevin Barnett. I mean, there's a ton of people. It was good. It was fun time. Yeah, True TV is doing almost all comedy now. It's weird how it was Court TV at one point. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they built the back of my network, my world's dumbest criminal show. Uh, <laughs> And uh, Practical Joker is kind of <laughs> cracked it open. Those guys, they're doing the yeah. O2 Arena in London. Wow. Are they crazy, really? right? Massive. Holy uh, yeah. fuck. Wow. Massive. Uh, they did three nights at Radio anymore. City. Those yeah. guys are giant. Yeah. It's, it's a good show. And they're great guys. They're normal cool dudes. dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, they're they're guys. yeah, they've come in here. But they uh, went there when the network was just building, too, so they kind of helped build that oh, network. Oh, completely. Yeah. That's uh, our lead in. 
They took a chance on him. That's yes, a, they did. Because no one knew what that show was about at first, and now they got a cult following those guys. I used and to it's do funny. Yeah. I used to do a gig in Staten Island at the Cargo Cafe, and yeah. Sal was the bartender, yeah. and we'd all be drinking our faces off, and he's like, "Hey, you know, fellas, I'm working on." It. We're like, "Hey, yeah, keep pouring, buddy." <laughs> and now he's, you know, a millionaire. Right. You know, it's funny. I had a show that was similar to that, but the title was no good. Practical <laughs> Jokers is such a good name. Mm. You just, well, you know what it is immediately. Right. And my title stunk, and what it just never get off the ground. Um, jesting with friends. Colon, how it can be great. That <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a memoir. Uh, <laughs> Jesting with friends. Colon, how, how it can be, be great. <laughs> <It's> definitely <laughs> introspective. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, we got Nick DiPaolo here, too. To check out his podcast at connectpal.com slash Nick. It's a good podcast. And then what uh, gig you're promoting? Uh, ha, right? Ha, and uh, Yonkers. And I don't Yonkers. know the dates. May. May 13th and 14th. Thank you. Then you got Mark Norman, he needs a little help with which one there, Mark? Every single gig I ever do. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Come on out, ladies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ladies. I'm, I'm at the Zanies in Nashville, right. and then I'm at the Vancouver Comedy Mix. Doing Conan May 23rd. Check it out. Nice. Send a tweet and uh, listen to my podcast. Uh, real nice. At Mark Norm on uh, Twitter. And then Jimmy's hitting the road again this weekend. Yes, uh, this week I will be uh, I'm opening for Slim Charles in Baltimore at the Rams Head. And then I will be Slim Charles. in uh, Bethlehem, PA on Friday. Is it Thursday, Friday? Thursday is uh, Baltimore, Friday's the Bethlehem at the Sands Casino. Go to JimNorton.com for if the If you dates. wish, and if you don't, no hard feelings. And go fuck yourself. Yep. Mark was telling us a little something during the break. I wanted Damien here. Four, oh, yeah. is coming in right now? He'll be in the right now. Yeah, well... Uh, 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 he just came back on. I want Mark Norman to tell these guys what he was telling us, Damien. I mean, about, I, you tell him. I don't huh? think it's that big of a deal, but... We, we think it's a big deal. You're yeah, talking about what? fucking. You fucking like you fucking for a cause. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's called insecurity. Um, yeah, I just got... Met a girl at the cellar last night, and she's still in my bed. And there, I think it's fine. I don't uh, think she's going to steal anything. I hope. I hope. He, he left. What's, what's her background? He, uh, <laughs> Jewish. No. Uh, Big he left Jew. A, he left a girl in his apartment that wow. he doesn't know to yeah, come yeah. in here and do radio. Out of your mind. That's really? Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Look at Jimmy's face. I want nobody in my space. I'm like, yeah, yeah you know, you want to come? Uh, we got to. I basically, I say to them nicely, I'm so happy you're here for the night. Uh, <laughs> one, I don't know what you're going to do from 7 to 1030, but you won't be in this apartment. Yeah. Wow. You're not going Being through my shit. Uber X. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Social security number. She could be using She's social right. security. She's rifling through your shit right exactly. now. Right. So oh, you are whore. Go out and explore. Yeah. Yeah. I got nothing in my drawers. It's fine. Just uh, joke books say that, and That's why she's going to steal from you because you didn't. Uh, she's probably going <laughs> to. She's probably going to. I got it. I used to chain him to the sink like Ray Donovan. Oh, please. What's <laughs> well, you can't do a, a, a head of nuss bomb, no good. <laughs> I like the right now. I figure it's a win win. If I come back, she's there, we'll bang again. If I come back, she's gone. Great. I That's the boy. You want to fuck a girl with morning breath. You got a slam lock? <laughs> oh, you got a, you have a roommate there. So she could somebody could see her out, though. Yeah. She's not going to just well, leave the door open. He's going to look through the crack of his door and go, fuck that. But yeah. yeah. The roommate will take care of your place. Yeah, he'll be for sure. What be. do you want? You want her to be there when you get back, or you want her to be gone? Be honest. Well, I kind of want to eat this burrito when I get home. So All you right. want silence? You want yeah. by yourself? Yeah. Okay. But if that, she's there, great. That's well, how you know it was not a, a great night. Do you want to fuck or <laughs> eat a burrito? Hold on, I'll get back to you. <laughs> yeah. It's a damn good burrito. Yeah, but yeah, have you had one of those? Yeah. Well, you on. tore the burrito. Potato and sausage. Unless she's here. a 12-year-old supermodel, I'm going with the burrito. <laughs> she is pretty young. <laughs> Why would you let her stay over, though? Uh, I'm very trusting. <laughs> I guess so. You just don't have a lot of stuff. I got nothing. Where's your computer? Is it a lot? On the desk? Uh, yeah, it's in her apartment. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Now I'm just picturing her with a no, stack you're of fine. iPads. She's just walking out my place with Artie Lang books. <laughs> Signed. <laughs> <laughs> he gives me a book every time I do his fucking show. Uh, what, are? I said she's tweeting from his account. Mm hmm. How would you get my password? What she is? might be making you a goddamn nice lunch. There you go. You know I'm saying maybe she's That's great. Maybe, maybe nice she's, aid sandwich. Yeah, maybe she's cleaning the whole apartment and waiting oh, for you to come home. This is a fantasy talking now. Yeah. No, he said she, she was Jewish. Yeah. Pulpy. Yeah, exactly. Do you love her? <laughs> ask him. Why would well, you have someone? Why would you make love to someone you don't love? I could get it up. So <laughs> I true. obviously didn't like her. <laughs> Do you, Do you wear a rubber? Her? Yeah. How'd you do it? My dick, if, I, if, if a I rubber's know, I in know. the room, my dick melts. Really? Me too. Really? Yes. Doesn't Roll? matter. 
Yeah. Really? She did well, do I don't thing. fuck that often. Though. She was super, uh, uh, this is getting gravity. She was super tight and she blew me and then I put the, the condom on and all the uh, saliva made it that? slide off. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. She she's in your tub crying right now. With uh, yeah. With her, she's listening to Sirius. That's, like, a, that's a nice <laughs> blow job. Sloppy, wet, the oh, rubber won't stay on. Sloppy. Yeah, but she had a hair lip. Yeah. That's is that true. why the rubber fell off or did you just stand off and it just fell off completely whole? <laughs> I caught her one tooth. <laughs> Will you guys be having another date? No. I don't think she lives uh, in the city. You're not going to see her for the next few weeks? What kind of asshole are you? Uh, How does she look? She's cute. Cute, cute, yeah. cute gal. You can, uh, you can ask some of the guys at the cell. They were all there. Yeah. I'll Google her. What's Do you her really name? Have, uh, I don't know. You also said during the break that it's, you'll be having sex with girls and they'll say, put this on your podcast? Yeah. Sometimes I talk wow. about all the girls on the pod and some girls are like, I want to be on it. Mention me. Not by name, like but Fucking they want the story. Horse. Mention my Twitter handle. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Plug my Instagram. Do they try to do something a little weird so that right. so you'll talk about it? Mm, nothing out of the ord. Uh, hmm. Had a couple. Had a cowboy hat girl in Austin. A cowboy that's hat. Kind she of just cliche. wore the cowboy hat. Yeah, oh, that's it was pretty yeah. hot. It was the fun. boots. You had the boots on too. No boots. I like a good the I had boots. A, I, cancer, I like the boot. had a cancer do rag. <laughs> oh, <good laughs> oh, shit. I fucked a girl in a cowboy hat once too named Joe Buck. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I met wow, her at Times Square. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. You got a strong back, boy. Yeah, good strong back, Joe Buck. <laughs> I'm going to work you. How good was that guy? <laughs> oh, my God. He was the best. Oh, my God. Ratso Rizzo. Yes. Oh, shit. It's my what favorite else? moment. What was the thing in the Midnight Cowboy? It was, uh, it was Dustin Hoffman. Tell it, De Niro told the story that Dustin, uh, or, or he was D Dustin Hoffman's waiter at the rap party for Midnight Cowboy. Jesus, really? De Niro was like wow. in a restaurant. Damn, or whatever. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, they did. Like this was on one of their fuckers promotional tours. <laughs> And they do Raging Bull, and they do Midnight Cowboy, and they do Rain Man, and they do Mean Streets, but then they meet together on the Fockers franchise. Uh, wow. Interesting. The yeah. first one was good. The first yeah, one. they better in uh, retrospect when you see it. <laughs> the first, the first one, was one was good. Funny De Niro. I don't like parents. Two and three. Three was brutal. They made a third I don't think one? I've seen the third one. I didn't Jesus. see it. The, the third, third one, one, they weren't even on set together. together. Was that the one with Bette Midler in it, too? Or something? Uh, Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. And Blythe Danner was She was in the second one, Barbara Streisand. Oh, who was in the third, then? I didn't, I didn't know they made a third. I didn't know they made a third. The Fockers versus oh, Jason. Oh, they made a third. Okay. Yeah. That's was he in it? Wait, was the third? The, yeah. It was a F love child or something? I'm trying to remember. Fockers versus Eric, Rocky. Eric, do you remember? <laughs> it's called Little Fockers. That's little Fockers. it. Yeah. Oh, it terrific. Was, Who would have guessed that That sounds like sucked. Little Fuckers. Why would they do that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let's look, uh, look at the trailer. Go back. Go Our back. pal Bob's doing something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's possible. I know. I read for a lot of shit. L.A. Confidential. Yeah. Ooh, Did you really? Did you? That's a good one. Ooh. Ooh tell us all about it. Was it was a young, <laughs> hot Russell Crowe when he yeah. snaps the chair. I was, no, I was uh, the fucking Kaiser. Italian guy. The mafia guy, remember? Vaguely. He grabs the guy's balls in the at the bar. Mm. You were in it or no? You auditioned? No, oh, I auditioned. Okay. I'm doing an audition for this really famous casting lady. She's like 88 years old, and I have to grab my own balls in front of her and like twist <laughs> yeah. my own. It's fucking horrendous. I did that uh, once. I, it was a macaroni commercial. <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted to see you grab your own Yeah, balls. I swear. I, you, you don't know. Like, I do swear to God. <laughs> what was the guy's did name? He like... real Italian, good looking guy that went out with, I forget. Andy Lorraine Garcia? Bracco. No. Oh. <laughs> Andy Garcia. <laughs> really good looking Italian. No, and, and real life. Oh, go look in popular. <laughs> oh, well, oh, excuse me, excuse me. In real life. Dude, yeah, went out with a fucking famous movie star chick in the L.A. Confidential. I forget. Oh, oh yeah, I that no guy. Idea. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, Gandolfini. Yeah. No, <laughs> why so it him. him. Uh, you were a piece of meat for that old lady. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's the thing. You don't know what they're thinking. What no. Fucking they're, old they're, what? They're having a good time. They could figure that part out on set. Kim yeah. I left you in the bathroom put a water pick up her ass. What? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Pierce, James Cromwell. This was a big. What was movie. the name? Lola? Not Lola. Danny DeVito. God, look at all these. Such a good this? movie. This was early 90s, 97. right? This one, Best Picture. I'll t yeah, go back. I'll all tell right. you the character. I don't remember Look for an Italian name and the character. Yeah. Pro uh, Johnny, Johnny Stompanato. That's it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was hot. Which yeah, one? he was like this real guy in let's, real life. Let's look him up.
Ah. Let's look up the real guy. Who beat me? Paolo oh, I get beat up by. Look, I had half the name Paolo right. Paolo Saganti. Saganti. That guy's got a marinara sauce. <laughs> Shit, he did have half the name. He's right out of Milan. No, he's from Milan, yeah. Yeah, yeah I get beat up by the real fucking Ginzalone. Uh, maybe that was supposed <laughs> to be you with that that first name. And they just yeah, fucked I'm it up. I'm telling you. Look at that guy. called the wrong he's guy. Gorgeous. Yeah. It's a piece of ass, this kid. But yeah. I was too. This was 20 years ago. Ah, uh, yeah, you were a hot number. Go with the real guy. Oh, she's play. a she's Who's a sassy that? lady. I don't know. Somebody Some, he used to hit. Some dish. All right, we're just looking at pictures of good looking men. <laughs> Room full of fruits. Damn right we are. Well, let's get let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Man. Where are you really, going? I think we I want to do another hour. I'm fresh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I gotta go home and do my podcast. I'm, I'm 11, gotta go home and... 11 people will be disappointed if I don't. I'll I give gotta... you the fucking steering wheel. You can take us to 11. Oh, but I gotta get the fuck out of here. Hey, Jimmy's getting I the fuck did out of here. I gotta go home and see him uh, buy a new iPad. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> fucking Mindy Cohn from the Facts of Life stole his shit. <laughs> Mindy Cohn. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fill out a police report. Yeah, exactly. There's gonna be a big cum yeah. stain and a bunch of cookies. Lana Turner. <laughs> That's it. That's the real stomping auto. Okay. He used to date Lana Turner. That was all right. Oh, wow. You know who he looks like from uh, from Kiss of Death, the guy who played Nick, uh, Victor Mature. Oh yes, I can see that. Yeah, Dude, Victor and Mature. you look more like the real guy. I know. Yeah. That's I know. Fucked up. Uh, yeah, you do looks, look like him. It looks like you could be. I had a good a audition. Relative. I mean, I bruised my own balls for this bitch. Yeah, it's just twenty Italian guys walking out of a room going, "Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> exactly." She, she was enjoying herself. Look like a proctologist's office. All right. Boy, look at that, huh? Mickey Cone. What a man. Lana Turner alive or dead? Yeah, look at him. What a hunk. I hope she's dead at this point. You and me she, both. Yeah, she's got to be. Yeah. She's not. She's in her late 140s. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this that's what I wore. Did they want the Those pants are <laughs> right He looks there, like huh? Pepsi there, doesn't he? Yo, yeah. Joe motherfucker. Uh, dude, yeah, that, he does. That's you. They should have yeah. gave it to I you. I know. I get fucking robbed. Fuck. That's your profile pic now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should put that as your Twitter. Yeah. I got all the pics coming out of my website. Oh, great. After 15 years. <laughs> I hate doing that shit. That administrative shit. I know, I know. But you got to do it. You got to do it. All right, it. who wants to get a plug in? We're out of here. Fuck it. Connectpal.com slash Nick for my podcast. You'll love it. It's vicious. It's mean. It's funny. It's, uh, uh, Nick doesn't hold back. Right. Not on a podcast, a I don't. Fuck. <laughs> it's the only hold... place you can say shit. I know. Where do you hold back? On the stage a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's Are you serious? Yeah, I am serious. No, it, it's starting to hit the comedy clubs. Fuck I'm dead. Serious. I'm waiting to get arrested on a comedy. I'm dead fucking serious. You heard his chunk on gooks? No. no. <laughs> See, I don't like to be reduced to that type of. Yeah. Joking. Come on, I know yeah, you. Yeah, you know, we world. know you joke, but still, <laughs> gooks. Oh, that's offensive. That's a great word. No, the it's Asians not, have the best uh, slurs. <laughs> Said the guy from Louisiana. <laughs> we didn't have any Asians down there. Yeah, no. got that Jew broad waiting for you. Yeah, well, the joke's on her when she opens my drawer and there's a swastika. <laughs> Mark, what do you got going on? Look at the buddy? tits on her. Who's that? That's pretty nice. Whoa! Who is that? Ah, that's Who the hell bra. is that? I don't go for that. Look at that. That's vulgar. Why don't you stand up? <laughs> <straight>? Skate <laughs> ramp. Showing your wow. breasts. Wow. Damn. Nice. Christ almighty. Like a, a posturepedic pillow. That's, that's Hi, the, I'm Mike Lindell. That's, that's Rita Natalie, Hayworth. That, Natalie that. Wood. Uh, younger sister. Wow. Yeah. Is it really? Roosh. Lena. Plenty O'Toole is her name? Wait, is that? Like she that? plays she Plenty won O'Toole. O'Toole. She won oh, the drama. I'll tell you that much. Plenty O'Toole is in the yearbook. Is that Rita Hayworth? <laughs> no. Whoa, oh, Christ. my God. Oh, boy, she's got some uh, silver dollars. Oh, my God. That Cornucopia. is crazy. Oh, if she if she died in that moment, I'd still suck her tits. As Why would? Uh, of course, yeah. Better do it, Jimmy. What big dark areolas there are? Big big areola. I love. Yeah, that. and Jesus. Sean Connery got her. She should be on the cover of National Geographic, carrying wood. Yeah, put her in the uh, the glue. Them nipples. Oh my God! Yeah, she's he's killing her. See Natalie, that? You leave uh, a little to the imagination. It's nice. Ain't it? Wow! Look at the oh, one. Yeah. No, I don't like wow. anything left to oh, the imagination. Oh my! She, oh my! Natalie Wood, God, indeed. Lana Wood was. Look at that awesome. picture. She must look at her feet. Too. Where can I buy that chair? She must have been a shitty. Uh, a, <laughs> she must have been a shitty actress. <laughs> I want to suck the stains out of those cushions. <laughs> she should have been in every movie. She's How bad amazing. Was her acting? I've never heard of her Boy, before. those are real. Those yeah, could yeah. be the greatest breasts I've ever seen. They got a point to them. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. like ski slopes. They got a point of view. <laughs> yeah. Like a... Oh my, oh, my God. Wow. Look at that. I like that. See yeah. that? I like that. They look like court jester shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love them. The iron cheek. <laughs> <laughs> they should have bells on the nips. Yeah. She, oh, my God. She was in that safety dance video. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wait. I don't think I've ever seen nicer oh, breasts than Lana Those are fucking awesome, man. Titties are always okay? in the moment. Okay, and Stompinato was hitting that. 
Wow. No, no, no. That's, no, no. This no, is a no, different broad. Oh, I don't know. Wood. Get, Sean this is Connery. a lot of wood. I'm sorry. Sean Connery. Yeah, I don't know this is Connery's piece of it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, how well, we got yeah, there, but... Mark Norman, what do you got, buddy? We're out of here. Welcome to The Rock. <laughs> we got uh, <laughs> Comedy Mix in Vancouver, May 26th and uh, 28th. And, and uh, Zany's in Nashville in two weeks. What they do situation. Check out the Twitter, the podcast, uh, MarkNormanComedy.com. For everything Mark Norman. Jim Norton. Baltimore and Bethlehem Thursday and Friday. You know where to find me. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy fuck. Right. JimNorton.com. And Damien's show is on 1030s. 1030. True TV. Yeah. Thursdays, 1030. Comedy Knockout. First time on the show. You did great, man. And it Thank just, you, man. I appreciate come, it. Come back and see us, Damien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. Please, please. I would love to come uh, back. Damien Lemon, everyone. Yeah. Check me out. I got a, a podcast called In the Conversation. Okay. In the conversation, check. That Is it out. just you? It's me, my man Vladimir Kamanyo, and Ali Muhammad. Where you, where you find this? Uh, iTunes, Stand Up Labs, iTunes, okay. SoundCloud, everywhere. Yeah, all, all the yeah. usual places. Yep, 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 yep. With that, thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow. Right. Wow. Yeah.